six back again with another podcast the overrated podcast episode 28 this is the second show this week um me and traditionalist one-on-one we had some i know you're off completely and i go to work at 10 so you know we decided you know what we have some stuff to talk about you know and so we decided to you know do a uh, do a second podcast so introduce yourself steven uh just for the record once again you sound a little bit muffled again so I just want to let you know, but yeah, this is the traditionalist. Right, sound better? Much better. Okay, Much better. Okay, dude, okay. Wait, dude what, what, stop! Stop doing that. Like, what, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I do think that my 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 microphone is on its last legs. So it's on his last legs. Okay, it, it does okay. seem like it. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, yeah. And, but good. News, I I've had these for a long time. So, so that so if they are if they are getting getting bad, it it was a good run. That's the skull candy one, right? No, no, these are. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I don't. Honestly, I, I don't know what they are. This, that's how <laughs> that's how long it's been. Okay. Uh, well, it, has a G, it has a G logo on it, so I don't. I don't think it's G Force. I, I don't. No, I don't. Definitely don't think it's that. Well, you definitely have enough funds to buy a new one. And oh yeah, yeah of course, of course, of course. So but, no, I, 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 that's what I think you should do. No, no, these are these are these still work. As long as long as they work, then then I think I, I I should be fine. I should be fine. But I'm definitely I'm definitely on the lookout for her for new headphones, right? But I, I have a bunch of other stuff I have to do first. All right, yeah, that's fine. So this is the um, the traditionalist one hundred and one. Like you said, we are starting a, another podcast this week, and which is something that's very rare. But when we have several to- topics. That we need to discuss once again if it's big time you know breaking news or if we're just clustered and oversaturated with so many topics more topics will get piled on to the next topic you know as the week goes on so to prevent that from happening we have a another podcast this week which i'm very excited about ecstatic i know you're not but <laughs> I'm no, 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 I, was, I was able to you know i was able to do it so yeah all right. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Awesome. Did you send out the uh, podcast link to um to 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 everybody? Yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm in the process of doing that right now. All right. So while you while you do that, um, man, it's been so busy at work, and so many people are still complaining about how they are short staffed. I have people coming to me and telling me that they're thinking about either quitting or, you know, transfer to a different location. I have, um, you know, people telling me um, how other people are complaining about, you know, their short staff and, you know, they just really don't know what to do. And and like I said before, I think these companies, some of them are probably just going to have to close. Like what happened, you know, with the pizza place, you know, where I was working on on the side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apparently have- that's, that's a new... That's a new uh... That's a new, um, it's a new pizza place. I don't know if you drove past there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you saw it? Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I drove past there um, one day, and they're making, it's a new pizza place. Yeah, it's a brand new, um, you know, uh, pizza uh, franchise. I think it's Pizzeria, something mm-hmm. like that. I mean, I only went to Pizzeria, I think, like, just once or twice. And I wasn't, I wasn't disappointed. I'm, I am willing to try it, you know, again, either on a Friday or on a Saturday. Or whatever, but um, are you finishing all the links? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, So I know it's been a crazy hassle with you at at your job, and I don't haven't I haven't found that one person that told me, "Oh, everything's going great at my job." Oh, everything is going great at my department. I mean, the only thing the only thing going up at my job is my paycheck. So you know, can't complain too much. Well, yeah, I was reading an article 
the reason why a lot of nurses and, you know, doctors, you know, have been quitting is obviously because, you know, they've just been overworked. And even with the constant overtime, you know, that they've been getting, they say it's not worth it. Like it's, it's, you know, they're working 24 hours, you know, at times, you know, they, they, they be on, um, they'll, they'll be off a day and then they'll get called in, you know, to work on their day off saying that it's an emergency that they need you and this and that. And, yeah, it, it's been it's been crazy, but you know, well, you know, the only thing we could do is just try to adjust and you know, try to collect as much money as we can. Mm-hmm. Which is what I've been doing. So, good. Hopefully, hopefully by next week I'll have my PS uh, my PS Five. Um, yeah. So I, yeah, I decided to buy a PS Five. So for yeah, everyone. you yeah you finally decided to buy a PlayStation Five, mm-hmm. despite the fact that you bought the Xbox first. Well, I bought I bought the I bought the Series S. Hey, I mean, yeah, I don't I don't regret it. In fact, um, I'm going to do a like a an overview of the Xbox Series S, you know, and talk about some of the games I've been playing on it, mainly just Halo and Forza, and um, you know, yeah, and you know, I'll t- I'll talk about that on on uh, hopefully when I have time. I'm, I am off tomorrow, so I may do it tomorrow, but you know. Okay, I'll definitely be on the lookout to watch. You know that video is it going to be a live video? Uh, I wish I could, but I my phone is is garbage, so I have to. I'm I'm probably gonna have to use my tablet, or um to to do the video, or I I may have to just do a regular um. I might as well just do like a regular video. Oh, okay, okay. And speaking of you getting, you know, the PS Five. You know, we're talking we, we we're talking about a video game. In that first topic, anyway. Mm-hmm. But before we do, like I said before the podcast has started, I, I am considering getting you know the Steam Deck after all the articles that you know that we have been reading mm-hmm. regarding to you know Nintendo you know closing down you know some servers and you know the rumors that Sony was going to close down their servers, but they decided not to because mm-hmm. of the backlash that they received. This is what I was talking about from the very beginning. From the very start, that this is why I think, you know, we eventually will get screwed over regarding to, you know, the games that we purchase. Because if it's digital and if it requires you to have the server on, you, you no longer have any type of control with that game, despite the fact that you bought it. And I never was in favor of that, which is why I never will be in favor of buying you know 100 digital games well i do want i do want to make sure that you know this that with the steam deck is all digital yeah it's it's all digital but the purpose of me for getting that steam deck Mm -hmm. is to buy all of the old you know classic games that i am unable to you know purchase right now that's you know pretty much it because especially once you know, Nintendo or let's say Sony or Microsoft or whoever decide to close down all of their servers. Steam Deck is what I'm going to be picking up. All right. And, and besides, we, we talked about ROMs and emulation and all that other stuff. I mean, all that is, is digital anyway. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. That's true. So uh, shout out to Malta. He's, he's here. What's going on, dude? What's up, Malta? What's up, brother? Right. So... <laughs> um, and yes, speaking of um, one last thing, mm-hmm. when it comes to the you know Steam Deck, even with all the features that it has, you believe that it's too expensive to buy? It's no, it's too expensive for me. Like I have, I have, I have other things that I have to buy right now, so I can't really buy one. You know what I mean? I, if I if I'm gonna if I'm gonna let's say if I'm going to use this to play PC games, basically, right? I would rather get a a desktop computer. You know, which I've been thinking about getting a desktop. You want to be immersed? Uh, I don't. No, 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 not, 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 you know I'm going to no, get no, at. Not, yeah. no, 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 not necessarily. Because if I if I truly want to be immersed, I it's easier to do that on a TV than a, than on a monitor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, almost the same thing. No, nah, not Pretty really. Much the same but, thing. Not really, but I I don't I don't see. Like using handhelds now, I, it's not something that I'm, I'm interested in doing in twenty in twenty um twenty twenty two. Maybe ten years ago, one hundred percent, I would have been all over the Steam Deck. 
but now I rather just I rather just play games on with a with a traditional controller. With with a regular controller. Yeah. Do you play games on your tablet? I tried and it I just I, I lost interest. What about on your phone? No, no absolutely not. You, so there's not one game that you have on your phone right now currently. Not not in video game, not traditional video game. No. no, 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 no. I'm talking about games. Period. Games. Period. Is there any games at all that's on your phone right now? You you consider Scrabble a, a video game? Yes. You you consider Scrabble and Solitaire a video game? I, in the same in the same in the same way that that Zelda and Halo and God of War are. If it's not a video game, what is it? So you so you put you no, put, no, no. Them, in, you put them in the same it's, category. If it's not a game, you put them in, what, what is in it? the same category. What, what, if it's not a game, what is it? It's 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 a game. It's like ah okay, it's a game. It's a game. But it's not game. Those, but those aren't it's, it's those a game. Aren't, but I'm not playing Scrabble on my PlayStation Four. I'm not doing that. You know you know what the difference is. You just, you're just being difficult. <laughs> no no no. Because I'm I'm just trying to make a point that, that even though you feel the way that you do. Yeah, there's a couple of games here or there that will actually fall into the cracks that will pull your interest. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. No, I just do that. It's just, it's just time waster. That's it. Yeah, but that's it, all, doesn't, all it doesn't disqualify from being a video game, though. I mean, in, 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 I mean, in a technical sense, yeah, you're right. But thank you. But I'm not. But I'm not playing. I'm not playing full fledged video games on my phone. Full fledged video game. Look, look. It doesn't have to be a triple A title to be a video game. I know, I know that, but it, but yeah. it has, to be, it has to be actually be a game. It has to actually be a natural video game to be to to be a video game, in my opinion. I don't consider, I don't consider Word Feud, Word Feud to be to be a video game. I don't. Do you consider Candy Crush to be a video game? I mean, that's more, that's more, that's more in line with with, with games that we play in the past, like Tetris and and Columns and stuff like that. And even that, I don't have that on my phone. No, no, but it, it's still does, does that qualifies as you know being a video game? Yeah. Okay. But so I, I, I think you notice, I, think, you notice I don't you notice I don't have that on my phone. But games like Scrabble, games like checkers, games like chess, which I games don't have like you know tic tac toe, whatever whatever it is. I don't have that on my phone either. Uno, solitaire, whatever it is. Yeah, I, I have the only other one I have is solitary. That's it. Okay, and that's a game. I mean, if that's a game a, that you, you a game a game that you decide to download and to play on your phone. If that's how you want to classify that, then then sure. But you, but we know we both know what we're talking about when it comes to playing video games on the phone. You know, we both know. <laughs> you're, you're just trying to be you're just trying to be difficult. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> but but anyway, um, uh, you, you you take over. Go ahead. Take over for oh, what? Okay. This is your topic. All right. So we are going to be talking about. Street Fighter once again, mm-hmm. and by the way, I I am having such a good time with these comics. I don't know if you can see it, but um, having a shout, really good shout, time. shout out to my girl Karen. Um, I don't see her on the on the chat. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the. Oh, 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 oh! It's not okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and this one here, which is your pathetic. Stupid character that you like, uh, Hugo. You, you don't like you don't like Hugo. I, I think Zangief is far superior. All right, that's fine. I, I don't. I didn't. That's not what I asked you. I asked you, did you like Hugo? No. Um, and we have um, I bought you know this one as well. Another you know street fighter. Like the, the here, here's the only complaint that I have when when it comes to these comics. Um, because you know I'm a huge street fighter fan, and you know I I like to read you know comic books, and. The frustrating thing that I have with these comics is I have, you know, from one to ten, you know, this series or, you know, this um um this saga, I guess, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, a couple are missing. I'm missing one. I'm missing five. And I think I'm missing seven. It is so difficult to keep track when it's when it comes to collecting comics, which is why I mostly just buy paperbacks. Um, it's more convenient. It's only one book. Instead of you know going week after week or month after month trying to stay in tune with all the you know with the story and dialogue and you know things of that nature, but there's more you know comics that I bought, but I don't. It, it would take a long time if I showed you every comic that I bought you know this past weekend, 
but I'm most absolutely having fun. I think. Did you see the picture that I showed on on the group chat? No. Oh, you didn't see the picture. Okay. No, it okay, okay. Picture. Uh, it was a picture of um, of um, what's it? Oh, crap! Now I forgot his name. Now, <laughs> uh, what's that dude name? The one that's all gray. Oh, crap! What's his name? Not 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 twelve. The other guy. It was all gray. You mean, are you talking necro? Necro, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know that chick that he's always with? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, she's an extremely strong character. Oh, really? Really strong. Yeah, that's why I posted it on the chat so you could see it. Like, I, when you didn't comment, I had a feeling that you didn't watch it. I mean, I had a feeling that you didn't look at the photo. No, I, no, I, I must have missed it. Because you got to be talking about a bunch of stupid shit that I don't care about. <laughs> yeah, like like like, uh, like comics. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway... Uh, Back to um, our regular schedule program. We are going to be talking about Street Fighter 6 and, you know, its logo. And there's a... Oh, Mo, look what Moltis said. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't like phone games either. I Me, I don't like playing... I don't like playing actual video games on my phone. Like, I don't I don't like that. No, 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 don't, don't play semantics with me. Uh, so, Solitaire is still a game. Okay, that's fine. I can play that on my phone. Okay. But so I can't play Zelda on my phone. Look, if you don't want to play Zelda, if you don't want to play Mario, you know, that, that's fine. That's what I mean. And you and you keep harping over it, even though you know exactly what I mean. Te- technically, they're all games. That's what I'm trying to say. I, 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 that's fine. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. But you know what I mean when I say I'd rather play an actual video game on a TV or 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 something that's dedicated to to playing the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like 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 Street Fighter, Tekken, Horizon, God of War. Yeah, Gears of War, Halo, Call of Duty, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, speaking of Call of Duty, have you played the the Warzone one? No, okay. I tried. I tried it one time. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, no, I'm I'm over Battle Royale games. Okay, all right. So, as we all know, Capcom has finally released a small trailer of Street Fighter VI. And there's been, you know, some controversy regarding, you know, with the logo, um, regarding if, you know, Sony will get in, you know, some type of trouble for, you know, copy. will get in trouble. Sony? Uh, my, did I say Sony? My bad. Yeah, Capcom. Yeah. Capcom. My bad. Thanks for correcting me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you had the article, right? Yeah, and um, I'm going to post it, you know, right now. Put all these I, I didn't, I didn't read the article, but I kind of know what the article is about. Now I'm surprised that you didn't read it. <laughs> no, there's nothing to read. Like some guy, some guys upset that they used the logo, which is, is the, the logo clearly. Um, I don't know if they did it intentionally, but the, the logo clearly is literally the same logo. <laughs> like you know what I mean? It's the same logo. As what? As the the logo that the guy claimed was his, and mm-hmm. the Street Fighter one, it's the same logo. Yeah, it, it's pretty. It's pretty much. It looks like an exact duplicate. Just it just doesn't have a six underneath. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so let's let's um get on you know with this article, and we will definitely talk about. And if you want to continue talking about you know Street Fighter Six in general, that's fine too. But um, so look. It says Street Fighter logo is a stock image of Adobe stock. In addition, its creator likes to add a a cut to the copy. That's what he wants. So as you can see here, look at this. (laughs) I mean, when you look at it side by side, it's actually funny to look at because this is what I mean how... These developers, these graphic designers, it seems like they're just no longer putting effort anymore. It looks it looks exactly the same. The only difference is, is the is the 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 line on the F is is down, is going is is facing down. But other than that, everything else is the same. Yeah, and the, the Street Fighter one does look thinner with oh, the, oct- yeah, the octagon yeah. or whatever the shape is called. Yeah. And this one is obviously a bit thicker. And and you know you see the six and then you see the um I forgot what this stuff is called the um I can't remember what that's called there's there's a word for it I just can't remember 
um, all the you know, I'm just gonna call it special effects, I guess, mm-hmm. with all the you know, extra stuff, right? So it looks exactly the same. And before I read the article, you and I had a little small debate where you said that I'm just trying to forcibly, you know, make an argument, which I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to. What I was trying to say was when you see stuff like this, I worry that it will transcend to people actually developing the game itself. Because if you if you're going to be lazy, if you're going to be lazy where you don't even put any type of effort and you just want to copy you know somebody else's artwork somebody else's logo and you know make it as your own that that tells me like there's there's no creativity you know there's no you know motivation of trying to make something original trying to make something new it, it's just it's just not there anymore. And I, and I worry that this is what's been happening, you know, throughout the whole, you know, entire gaming industry as a whole, where these developers or the people who are in suits are telling these developers to, you know, hurry up, you know, make these games. We have a deadline and they have no choice, you know, but to, you know, take shortcuts, which will compromise the quality of the game. And or b- before before I continue. Doesn't this prove that this is just being lazy? Yeah, I the last podcast we had, I said that the that the logo the logo sucks. And th- and this the was before right, and this was even before we discovered that it was a carbon copy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I even said it, but the th- the argument that me and you were having, which you completely tried to bait me into, was that my the thing is that even it, even though look, first off. Look at Street Fighter. Look at Street Fighter Five. I mean Street Fighter Five. The logo for Street Fighter Five is awesome, right? The problem I, is that I the game, it. the game came out lazy. I I got a special surprise for you, but let continue. No, go ahead. What, what you got? What you got to say? What's the surprise? No, 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 no. Trust, trust, trust me. It, it's actually better that we win. I got a, I got a special. No, surprise. no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go no, ahead. no, 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 no. Let me. Let, tr- trust me. It, 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 it will be. It will be better. That we just 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 hang on just, just look, for a few if seconds. You, if you look at every logo that's that that Capcom has made for Street Fighter Five, it's always been something that that is eye catching. This is not eye catching. This is lazy. Mm-hmm. It's very lazy. The argument that you tried to bait me into was that mm-hmm. you thought that I was supposed to get upset to the point where I would agree with you to say that this is a indication that the entire development process of this game would be lazy. And the thing is that I, I'm not doing that because I don't know. Well, you 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 just admitted that Street Fighter V was lazy. The the the, the launch of the game was lazy. Yes. That, had nothing, that had nothing to do with the logo. True. Well, no, no. This is why I said I... I, 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 I didn't, didn't come out with it now. No, then this, this is why I said I want, I want to wait for the surprise. Like, do it now. <laughs> well, um... The reason why I didn't want to do it now is because I just wanted to reveal Capcom's track record of how they have been lazy from the very start. And we should have caught this on even even as when we were kids. We should have known better even as kids. When Street Fighter 2 came out, I'm not talking about the original Street Fighter, I'm talking about Street Fighter 2. When the original Street Fighter 2 came out, you know, they came out with you know Street Fighter um, you know, championship editions i believe it was after that then you know you know with turbo and then you know with super you know street fighter 2 turbo remember they were also competing you know with mortal kombat and although internet we didn't really have internet back then and we really didn't have you know as much you know info regarding these games mortal kombat came with with one then they came with you know mortal kombat 2 then they came with mortal kombat 3 all three games were wouldn't you agree that all three games, you know, were very different? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Especially when they started to add, you know, I think the dash or you were able to sprint towards your opponent. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they actually changed, you know, different mechanics of the game. Capcom didn't do that with Street Fighter 2. Not at all. All they are you, did. Are you serious? All, all to, to, like, I'm talking, I'm talking about, I'm talking about how MK did with, you know, Mortal Kombat. Like, you, you cannot... You can't you can't sit here and say that all those three three of those games were exactly the same. Would you would you think no. the original Street Fighter Two and Street Fighter Championship Edition are basically the same games with with, with the exception of new characters? 
I that was well, the exception. The new character can't be the you can't you can't dismiss that. If you're gonna add new character, that that's that changes everything. Well, I'm talking about I'm talking about as far as the mechanics, you know, the you know how you know the, the gameplay, you know what I'm saying? Like the just the gameplay itself. It, 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 Mortal, Mortal Kombat wasn't the same. Okay, I understand that, but if you're going to add new characters, then that changes the gameplay. That changes. Cause remember, we remember we didn't have no we didn't have no access to to Bison to you know the the Shadow Lu, um four until until Championship Edition. Mm-hmm. So it so that yeah that's a that's a that's a very vital change. Yeah, I, but I get, I get I get what you're trying to say. I get what you're oh, trying okay. to say. Okay. But here, here, but here, the, here's the funny thing though. When you go from, you know, two slash championship edition to turbo, yeah, the gameplay changed drastically. Yeah, it changed drastically because you one, you can't, you can't play. I would argue that turbo is the most unique of all the fight of all the Street Fighter two games. All right, now when you said turbo, are you talking about the one with the Kuma in it? No, 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 not that one, not that one. Okay, okay, not, okay. Not two turbo. I'm talking about the original Street Fighter two turbo. Yeah. I would argue that's the most unique um, fighting game of the bunch of 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 of, of all of two. Oh yeah, because you could change the uh, the speed. Yeah, um, the, the speed, the speed, the speed got higher. Yeah. Then I think they added they added new moves for for some of the characters, and they also I think um, some of the characters even had air can do air. Um, wait, not air. Um, like obviously some character they added new moves to the characters. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that so that was so that was so that was different. Like you, I think your overall point was that my Capcom has been yeah look yeah they have like that was the look the industry has always tried to get money from you even yeah. from the arcades even from the arcade they try Absolutely. to get money from you. If you look at how how cheap the AI is in Street Fighter when you're in Street Fighter Two, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, so yeah like like obviously that was designed that was designed to keep you to keep you playing. Yes. Yeah, so I mean that's 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 not that's not new. That's not new. Like it, it, it can it can definitely Capcom being lazy on un, understood, but that's not that's not new. Well, yeah, that which is why I said you know they have been lazy, you know, from the very start, in my opinion. Now, if if you think that is probably only slightly true, then you know I get it because you did bring up you know a couple of good points, you know, with Turbo, and you know so on and so forth. And and then and then you look at. Um, the new challengers they added four new characters and they changed and they changed moves and they changed the moveset of some of some of the existing characters, yeah, yeah, even, even though the, even though the fundamentals of the game are the same, that's what I meant, yeah, yeah, the fundamentals of the game are the same. And I would, and yeah, like if you look at Street Fighter, look, if you look at Championship Edition and the and the um new challengers, yeah, I, I can I can read that the, the fundamentals are the same, but. The changes that they made are substantial, are fairly substantial. The, the only difference now is that instead of trying to charge you like seventy, eighty dollars for a game, you know, what I mean, they, they you remember do that, it, they do, yeah, they do it in patches. Yeah, they do it in patches. And remember, back in the day, we like, I, I mean, I know you did this, and I did this. We rented games. Yes, we rented games. We didn't, we didn't buy. Like, I, I never owned a Street Fighter game growing up. So I didn't. We because. My family didn't have the money to keep buying, you know. We were, it was very selective when it comes to buying games back in the day, because like I said, you know, they weren't they weren't interested in buying me games and shit like that. Yeah. But 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 even but even with that, mm-hmm. I think out of all the fighting games that came out at, you know from the time, a lot of them, you know, were, were drastically different. Like I I made the example, you know, with Mortal Kombat one to three. Mm-hmm. And even with, with Fate of Fury, when Fate of Fury, I, I believe they didn't introduce going to the foreground and to the background until I think was it two or was it three? No, you could do that from from jump. You could do that from, oh, from the, jump. First, yeah, from the first game, the first oh, game, okay, second okay. game, and then the the way that they did the way that Street Fighter did with with um with Street Fighter two. That I mean, um, SNK did that with Fatal Fury. They had they had Fatal Fury two, and then they had Fatal Fury Special. And then, um, and then they had Fatal Fury three, and then, um, and then they, then they, pretty much rebooted the series with Real Bout. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, I completely forgot about that one. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, so I guess you and I can agree 
that they they definitely you know have been you know lazy and then you know did obviously t- took money extra money out of our pockets you know just re-releasing street fighter 2 but just with new characters and change and made a couple of tweaks that's pretty much it yeah but yeah all right so um here it says the new logo for street fighter 6 sparked a lot of buzz on the internet with many liking it to a stock image found on Adobe, uh, thanks, uh, Rich, Unrich, I guess that's how you say it. If I say it wrong, let me know. Mm-hmm. Now, the creator of the stock image has offered to sell Capcom. Oh, okay, okay. And Capcom, the exclusive rights to her design. Um, X Cooley talked to IGN about their logo being used by Capcom and shared they were looking to sell the exclusive rights to Capcom, removing it, you know, from sale to other parties. Here's the stock logo. We already seen how it looks like. The new Street Fighter Six logo is on Adobe's stock site. I don't even know what to say. I knew that was generic, but I couldn't realize it was so bad. They searched the Stock Age website and rounded the corners and added the six, uh, what the heck? What? Uh, all right, six. Whatever this. Yeah, yeah. Is. They added. They added the six. And yeah. Then, they, then I think that's the link of the of the of the photo. Yeah, correct. And unrich two twenty one zero two two two. This content is based on an external platform, which is only display, which is only display it if you accept cookies. Please allow cookies to view. Blah, whatever, whatever. Yeah. It's probable that Capcom's new logo bearing a striking similarity to X. Cooley Adobe stock image is just a coincidence. No, it's not. <laughs> like, Capcom knew exactly what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing. Like, okay, have you know, this once again is what I mean by they didn't try to, you know, make the logo from the ground up. They, they, they didn't really put any work or try to add any type of creativity in adding a logo. And look, I understand what you meant when you say the gameplay is really all that ultimately matters. And that's what the only thing that you should care about. But at the end of the day, though, if they are going to be lazy when it comes to a logo, once again, I worry that that will also, um, that they, they will also, you know, continue, you know, with that strategy and be lazy when it comes to the development of the game itself. And that that's, that's what I'm worried about. And I know you disagree, but, you know, I just worry that it's going to compromise, you know, the development of the game to some degree. Um, you don't have anything to say before I read? Continue on. No, continue, continue, continue. Okay. Many have complained that Capcom has chosen a shun and once vibrant and martial arts inspired Street Fighter logos of the past for something that is basically boring. And I think you said something similar to that. Mm, yeah, it is boring. Yeah. Like it, it wasn't it wasn't eye catchy. It wasn't something that really made you hype, you know, about the game. And one, once again, if that's the case, this is what I mean by how presentation does matter. Like if it doesn't look appealing, then you may not be interested in getting the game. But let's continue. the logo, let, let, huh? The logo, yeah, the, yeah. The logo's boring. Like we both agreed on. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but that's not going to keep me from buying the game. It, 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 it may not keep you from buying the game, but you will definitely will probably have, you know, some type of, um, what, wouldn't you at least question the game to some degree? No. Okay. No, that, that, that's the thing that I was arguing. That's the thing that I was arguing with you about. Like, again, it's a logo. That's all there is to it. Is it lazy? Yes. Is it, did they probably steal it from this lady? Yes. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to just assume that is gonna make the is gonna make the game overall is gonna be lazy out of, because of it. I'm not going to assume that because, like I said before, and you, you're I, I guess you're waiting to expose me on this. The the all, all the all the logos that they had in the past were great logos. Mm-hmm. Doesn't necessarily mean that the games were good. Not necessarily. You know what I'm saying? Like like Street Fighter Five release release. Poor. It was a poor release. Yes. It was a poor release. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And the, and the logo had nothing to do with that. Mm-hmm. My my overall point is this. 
I can acknowledge that something is bad, but ultimately the the main product is the gameplay. That's the main product, and if that is if that suffers, then then I'm not buying the game. Right. And even then, I don't know because I bought I bought Street Fighter Five when it came, first came out, and it, and it and it was you know fucking bare bone. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But that that's my that's my overall point. But you you can continue. I think that I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's it's almost done. It says the new logo um, is only a generic product. Like you know, once 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 again, I truly truly believe that when you when you have a package and if it doesn't you know look good, if it doesn't look appealing. To me, I, I do believe that that can somewhat influence or compromise, you know, your decision making. Like, like when um, I I guarantee you this. I, I don't want to go too far back, like we, because we talked about this before. But we you know when when Capcom decided to reboot, you know, Devil May Cry. A lot of people complained that even though ultimately the gameplay was ultimately the same, people complained that you couldn't play as um Dante anymore. You know, like and it, it, and let me let me let me address that because you said this. I didn't I didn't get a chance to to address you on this, right? On what? Oh, about on, the Devil May yeah. Cry. Yeah, Devil May Cry, and you also mentioned writing and and stuff like that. Let me tell you what the difference is. Be- right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're gonna tell the difference between that and the logo, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Those those characters, like we all know that char- that characters play a huge part in fandom. Yes. That's 100%. why. That's, yeah, that's why. That's why you know characters like Dante are popular. That's why characters like Solid Snake are popular. And if you're going to change that, you risk a huge chance of your audience getting pissed off about that. Mm-hmm. I understand that. I understand. Now, is it going to keep me from buying the game? No, but I understand because you're you're using that character. You're using that character. You grew up liking that character, and if yes. you're going to mess with that. I can understand people being upset about it, not to the point where where they're threatening threatening the lives of developers, not not to that point. But I can understand being upset and, and annoyed by that. Well, it, it got to the point where people won't even buy the game. It, it could yeah. it could really influence people that much. That's fine. That's fine. And to and that is far more understandable mm-hmm. than getting upset over a logo. That's my that that's my like, I don't I don't see this as a big deal. You can criticize it. I have no problem with people criticizing the logo. Okay, good. But if, but if, you, but if, but if you but if you're going to tell me that one, if you're not going to buy a, a game because of a logo, then you're not interested in the game in the first place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to buy a game because you don't want to play as writing, it, it's it's still silly to me. But at least it is? At, yeah, it is silly. I think it is silly. The, the, but the, at the, go ahead, go ahead. But but at the least. I can at least that I can understand that. If you're if you're just gonna get upset over a logo, then you're not interested in buying the game at all. Then you're just complaining just to complain. Because ultimately, the logo has nothing to do with, with game quality. It doesn't. It just doesn't. That's okay, but 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 you said if they did change the characters, people wouldn't buy the game. But you said that's also stupid. Why? Because I like I didn't like I played I played Metal Gear Solid Two like the Metal Gear Solid Two was a great game. Okay. Like and yes, you got you played as Raiden. Okay, and does it mean the game is bad? No, it doesn't mean the game is bad. Mm-hmm. You may not like the decision they made in the game, but that doesn't make the game bad. Um. No. It, no. It doesn't. It doesn't make the game bad, but. But is this is you, you have you have to understand something, even though this is just fiction, like I said before, when it comes to video games, when it comes to novels, comic books, when it comes to movies, when a, when a character that you invested, you know, all your life, all your life invested in a particular character, once that character gets removed, they don't people don't care if the show is still good. They dismiss the show and no longer support the show because the character has been removed. Like that's not that's not something that's not nothing new. That's not something that you you should criticize people for. No, no, no. I, I'll gladly criticize people because the, if you if you care more about the character than the show, then then you didn't like the show that much. Mm-hmm. And even then, if, if, if that, that's your prerogative. If you don't want to watch the show, that's fine. My thing is that like 
like the thing is that I, you have people bitching and complaining about it, like it's the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. If you don't, if you don't like something, don't watch it and move on with your life. That's simple. Okay, so when so so basically, when I complained, when I complained about um, Street Fighter Third Strike about the mm-hmm. characters, so so that that was a stupid complaint according to basically what you just said. No, 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 it's not a stupid complaint, but it, did it stop you from not playing it? I mean, I didn't show as much support like I did the others. All right, that's right. Did it stop you from playing it? I played it a little bit. No, no, don't, no, don't, no, don't pull that BS. <laughs> what, what? Don't pull that BS. You play that game a lot. You play that game. A lot. Me and you played the shit out of that game. And you saw how much I complained about the game as well. It's fine, but you still played it. Yeah, but I still complained. That's fine, but you still played mm-hmm. it. No, 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 yeah, yeah, I complained, but I, but I still. I played it, but I still complain, which is That's why fine. I which is, did which not. Is fine. I I do the same thing. Like, no, 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 no. You 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 were going all Google Gaga about, about the characters like Hugo and 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 Dudley and yeah, and I like yeah, I like some of the characters. I don't like every character in the game, but that does but that does, that doesn't mean that I have to hate the game because of it. Like the, the thing is that when you were trying to, again when you're trying to bait me into an argument, you brought up Tekken Seven, and I said that I didn't like the new characters in Tekken Seven. Right, which has, nothing to do, which has nothing to do with the gameplay, by the way. Which is fine. But okay. the fact is, the game, I still like the game. Like, I still have, like, I, and trust me, the characters in Tekken 7 are not my only complaints about the game. Mm-hmm. It's not my only complaint. But at the end of the day, there's more good than bad. So why, so why am I harping over the bad? Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's true. That's true, but the reason why I got off of here was um, well, I wanted to make a real quick point. I want you to look at this real quick. I want you to look at this. So let me share this uh, once again, just so I could give you a visual. Um, so you don't say, "Oh, I'm lying," or "I'm," or "I'm being hyperbolic" when I say this. Okay. Worldwide, the game has sold over seven million units. On Metal Gear Solid Two, mm-hmm. right? Seven million um units. Now, mind you, heaven know, when people discovered that you no longer could play as Solid Snake, everybody complained. Mostly everybody did. Even me. I, I complained as much as how I like Raiden, um, um, Raiden, whatever, how you pronounce his name. As much as cool that I thought that he was, I still wanted to play as Solid Snake because I grew up with Solid Snake. He became, you know, one of my favorite video game characters of all time. You know, the voice, you know, the voice actor, uh, um, um, David. Like everything about that dude was extremely iconic. One of the one of the most greatest, you know, heroes, soldier slash soldier, you know, of all time. To at least to me, which is why this game is a big deal. Now let's take a look how much Metal Gear Rising had sold. Look, look at this. Like the sales and it, it, like, I, I, dude, I am telling you, when I found out that. Metal Gear Rising didn't sell nearly as um as close as Metal Gear Solid Two. You it's, were supposed to. It is proof. Is it, it supposed was, to? Hmm. Is it supposed to? It was a brand new Metal Gear game. It's not no that, that not Metal Gear game. It's not not in the, not in the sense not in the sense of a Metal Gear Solid. Well, here, here's the thing. This is what I discovered as I was playing the game. You could actually, although the game was like a you know hack and slash like a God of War. Or Bayonetta, or a Devil May Cry, Ninja Gaiden, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's a it's it's a half that, slash game. That game, I well, remember, mind you, I I have the game. I still have uh-huh. it. You could actually make it a stealth game if you choose. That's fine, but it's not going to be it's as cool. deep. It's not going to be as deep as Metal Gear Solid. No, 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 no. It's, it's not as deep. But like usually, a, a, when um there there'll be in a lot of cases where you'll be surrounded by enemies where where the game actually encourages you to use a lot of stealth. I, t- to me, I think it is kind of, uh, I think, you know, the development team, I think it was Ninja or Ninja something that, that made the game. They were trying to be slick with it, where you basically had to, it ba- they basically forced you try to use stealth. Otherwise, everybody, you know, will just, you know, gang, gang up on you. It wasn't like Metal Gear where a soldier, you know, s- spots you. And then he calls for backup, and now you really gotta, you know, try to find a way, you know, to hide. It, it wasn't depth like that, like you said, understood. But there is some stealth, you know, elements, you know, within the game that you had no choice, 
but to um you use so you can continue to go on, you know. With right, the that's game, fine, you know but, it's not, but that's not. But it's not Metal Gear Solid. That's what. Well, it's not, no, no, that's it, what it's not. Yeah, yeah, but it, 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 it's not Metal Gear Solid. But there, there were characters on there, you know, that was in Metal Gear. Understood. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, you it, fought, it, it, you it's, fought, it's, it's an awesome game. I get it. It's yeah, yeah, it, awesome, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, a side, you know, game or whatever. But the thing is, a matter of fact, you fought. I don't know if you remember when you came over to the house. You fought um one of the Metal Gear Rays. In the beginning yeah, of the in the beginning of the game, so yeah, I remember playing it at your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what well, here, here, all I'm trying to say is, I guarantee you, the reason why people did not was not interested in that game was because you was playing as writing. I guarantee you that was that was that no. was also the reason. No, no. people people hate that dude. No, that's not what it is. It, it it's a different type of game. It's not it's not the same as Metal Gear. If it played like Metal Gear, I guarantee you it was sold more. No, 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 no. I, I don't, I don't think so. If it played exactly like, cause, cause remember this, this game, this game came out. Metal Gear Rising came out after Metal Gear Solid Four. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't. It it's in in, and, playing, and, in uh, playing Metal Gear Rising, it didn't have the same type of of. It didn't. Ha- it wasn't on the same scale. No, no. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is, when Metal Gear Rising finally was released. This was this was when a lot of people actually started to like writing because he was such a cool color character on four. Understood. But even but even when he had his own game, nobody not that many people supported it. No, first, 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 I think he said that the game did well. He, one one point two million is, is good. Yeah, compared, yeah. compared to com, compared to compared to uh, uh um seven eight million. I don't think so. No, compared compared to seven to eight million, no. But you, but you also think that the um that the game cost the same to make? No, I as, don't um, think so. As no, Gear 2? no, yeah, I, as I, four. Mm, no, as, oh, no, I mean four, four, four. No, 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 no. Not even close. No, they released it as 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 a as a as a kind of like a they they they, they definitely didn't put this on the same level as Metal Gear Solid Four. Not even yeah. close. Yeah. But I don't think that was the reason why people didn't support the game. No, the people because it's a, it's a hack and slash game, and and probably Metal Gear Solid fans are not into hack and slash hack and slashes like that. Yeah, that could be part of the reason. No, I think that's the main reason. I think that's the main reason because it did two completely different games. At the end of the day, though, at the end at the end of the day, this this character they haven't even even if you're right that they sold a good amount. Yeah, I think they, even I think even said it in the in the um go go back to the original um go back to the um to the original search. Um my, my Metal Gear 2? I mean Metal Gear. Right, right, right. No, 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 no. Go to go to rising and, and go to the main search thing. Oh, oh crap. I will have to go back. Yeah, go um, back. And then yeah, and, and and then let's get back to the Street Fighter. Um mm-hmm. yeah. All right, now what, what you want me to do? Um let me go back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game also enjoyed positive sales. Like, yeah, like, yeah. The game did well. Here's here's the problem. If the game really did that well, why haven't we haven't seen a sequel then? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I think isn't didn't Konami make this? Like, come on. We we what what, what is Konami making? Um, I don't think Konami made this. I mean, is it, is their franchise ultimately? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go yeah, go to um. Sure. Click, click on the Wikipedia. Click on the wiki. We'll see who. Let's see who made it. All right. All right. I think it was Ninja. I, I, I can't. I can't remember. Um, development. Yeah, the oh. Platinum Games. That makes sense. Platinum Games made this. Oh, okay. So okay. Okay. Yeah. So they. So the developers were Platinum Games, but the publisher was Konami. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Oh, crap. Get out of here. Ah. Um. Yeah. 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 It's Konami, oh. and like. Like, I mean, you gotta ask Konami why we didn't see a sequel. In the, what, or, I mean, what are they making right now? <laughs> Man, dude, that 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 company, I do, I, I despise that company now. Let me tell you, I'm telling you that right now. I, I despise that company for not, you know, making any more, you know, Medigal games. Same, same, same way how you feel about um, Ubisoft when it comes to Ubisoft, you, like um, EA, and yeah. frankly, right now, Rockstar. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so um, yeah, yeah, we kind of a little got a little bit lost track 
But I, I was just trying to, you know, make a point that, you know, I, I still believe that presentation plays a huge part, you know, in, in video games. Even if it doesn't necessarily mean that it, it affects the gameplay. But I do agree with you. You shouldn't be really upset if a logo, a, a logo shouldn't, you know, persuade you not to support the game. But yeah. but 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 the thing I disagree with you on is that you said even characters shouldn't you know persuade you from from not supporting the game either. I disagree with that. I, to me, I, it dep- it depends on the situation. But like like I said, I didn't have I didn't have the issue with um with third strikes rostered like you do. Even though I and I'll admit I'll I'll gladly admit to you that the Street Fighter Two roster is better. And when you put when you put the Alpha Three character when you put the Alpha Three roster. Mm-hmm. It's better. Oh, okay. Oh, you finally admit that. Okay, good. Alpha three, not one and two, but three, definitely three. But at the end of the day, like there are still characters in that game that I really like from Third Strike that are exclusively to Third Strike. At least came out first on Third Strike. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, so there's always a silver lining to everything. There's something that you like. There's something that you don't like. To me, if there's more things to like than I don't like. Then, then I'm cool with that. I don't need to harp on the on the stuff that I don't like. Like, look at the collection that they just released. Um, the oh the, my the gosh, collection. yes, yeah, yeah. I told you, I hate that collection. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm not buying it at all. I'm not buying it. You, no uh, interest. You have no interest in in that collection. No, I I let my feelings known. I let my feelings known about the collection, and I decided, you know what, I'm not buying it. I put my money where my mouth where my where my mouth is. Yeah, absolutely um, not. Can't can't do it. Yeah, yeah, when, we, yeah. Go, yeah, go when ahead. it comes, but when it comes to the logo, to a logo, like again, I, I'll gladly admit that the logo is garbage. But like at the end of the day, like you know, it, it, at the end of the day, it's just a logo. I I can't I can't you know I can't harp over it. Yeah the 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 logo the logo to me, like you said, is is very bland. It's very plain. It, the the thing is. They put absolutely no effort into that logo. Like, you, like, look, if you're going to just copy, you know, some other logo, but then all you did is just attach a six, you, 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 you could tell that no effort was put into it. No effort. Then, like, like, so what do you expect? Like, you're going to, you are going to receive somewhat of backlash because it represents laziness. And and and, and when it's something is representing laziness. You are going to get criticized for it. I'm telling you, you're going to get criticized for it, especially when it's something that you have, you know, such passion. When you when you have such, when you're a huge fan of something that you have a huge passion for that you care about so much. I mean, if you're just going to give lazy collections, you know, give lazy, you know, um, presentations, I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to get backlash, even if the gameplay is good. Even if the game plays good, you you're going to get backlash from the game. And now, now go, going back to um, you know, don't, I'm only showing this because you mentioned how much you hate you know this collection. So, so you wouldn't even buy this collection for twenty dollars. No, I'm not buying this shit at all. Like Kidvid, shout out to Kidvid. He's in the chat. He said that Capcom fighting collection. He said he's getting it. Like I'll support it. It comes with rollback netcode and a good collection of games. I like the Street Fighter Anniversary collection in it. So, um, so you don't feel the same way I do. I, I am, I am, I'm absolutely not interested in this collection. Well, you know what? You know, tell him real quick why you're not interested. In that. It was so funny when you said it. If you, all right. right. If he didn't hear, I mean, I put everything in. I well, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll if he, if he wants to know, listen. I'm, I don't like, I don't like Dark Starkers. I don't. I've ne- never been a fan. Um, all the other games that they added. Like Cyberbots and Red Earth, I don't give a shit about those games. Like, it, <laughs> like, I, like, and the only the only thing on there that inter- that even even no, I'll, I'll be honest with you, even the even the Street Fighter stuff don't interest me. Oh, whoa, not, whoa, 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 what? Yeah, the Street Fighter, the puzzle, the the puzzle game don't interest me. I don't I don't think they're bad games, but it don't interest me. It don't interest me. What I wanted was was rival schools. And Power Stone. That's what I wanted. You could add all this other shit in there, but if you gave me Rival Schools and if you gave me Power Stone, I would have been all in. But I know why they didn't do it. Why? Um, because they had they would have to work on those games in order to do it. Which which represents what? Say the word. 
laziness. <laughs> laziness. Exactly. exactly. Laziness. Like, okay, so he said that Street Fighter Anniversary Collection is five games in one. I never got into Star- Doc Starkers, but I'll give it a try. And Cyberbots is fun. That's why if you think it's fun, I don't I don't give a shit about that game. <laughs> I love Puzzle Fighter and Gym Fighter. I don't I don't have a problem with those games, but I I don't I don't need to play. I don't need like I, I just got. I, I haven't even played King of Fighters yet. Like I'm, I'm, I'd rather play that than waste my time with Puzzle Fighter. You know what I mean? Like I got other shit. I got other shit to play. Like give me, give me a collection where I actually want to play these games. Well, and I don't want to play. I don't want to play this. I mean, for me, it, I, I'm just very surprised that they couldn't add. Like if you if you're going to add five, you know. Dark Stalkers games. I mean, why couldn't you add all the other Street Fighter games on here? Like, why- no, no. Oh. I mean, they they did they did the Street Fighter collection already. Like to me, the the thing that annoyed me about the Street Fighter collection is that it was oh, it was the arcade version, right? Mm-hmm. And I get and I get you can't put the you can, I, me personally, I would have preferred it if the if it was the console version of those games. And you think there's a reason why they didn't want to put the console versions? Yeah, because yeah. laziness. All right. Laziness. There, there, there you go. There you go. And he said that Gem Fighter is online for the first time, other than emulation. All right, that's fine. But I, I don't want. I don't want to play that. I don't want to play that game. So I, I don't want to. I don't want to play that game offline. I don't give a shit about playing it all, online. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I have enough. Don't, don't let your frustration and your dislike of the whole entire collection include of you hating you know the puzzle fighter game you I'm told not, me I'm you not, like I'm not, i don't i don't hate it but i it's not a game that i want to play like right now i no, played it okay okay this this game i could find i could understand what you're saying if you if you're just talking about the strictly the puzzle game fine i i, I get you because for me i i hate it when they try to include you know puzzle games or card games and and in, in the in these implemented in, in these fighters i don't like that i i always dislike that you know, unless it's and unless it was originally a a card game, and even and even then, I don't like card games. But this, I never accepted this because it's not a traditional fighting game. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now the other one, hopefully they they bring it up. No, you go go go, go back. All right. Um, um, this one, this one is a fantastic game. No, it's fine. Like, I like begin, the game, begin, but, yeah, but yeah. I, but, I, but you know, when it comes to Street Fighter games that I want to play right now, this is on the low, the lower tier of the list for me. This one, yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Not, not, not a bad game, and and it's cool that it's gonna have online. But like, bro, like I, you, you can't sell me on you can't sell me on a collection where you have five versions of a game I don't like. Can't do it. Well, I think I honestly believe that this the fact that this is um online, I think it that I think that's fantastic. Because it's the same, it's the same how you was giving Third Strike so much praise when they um implemented online in that game. So yeah, I, because, I but yeah, sure. because the game the game, yeah, because I like um Third Strike is one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Puzzle for that, that's not puzzle fighters. <laughs> Definitely not that. Like it's, it's a cool fighting game, but it's not, trust me, it ain't, it ain't on that level. Um, Kivit said the best Street Fighter puzzle um, fighter is on cell phones. That was the best version, but they shut the shut down the servers. Oh, well, oh what 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 a surprise! They shut down the server. What 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 big news having now? They shut down the server. Probably no one was playing it. Probably. Well, but, but ultimately, um, all right. So, are we done with this topic or what? Oh no 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 no! I you, you, I, I forgot to give you the surprise. Yeah, show show me the surprise. <laughs> All right, so um, j- just just so I could give everybody a quick visual um, of what we talked about. Um, Yoshi, obviously you came in late. Um, hold on. Yeah, so you obviously, you know, came in late. And so, th- th- am I finished reading this thing? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, you're done. You're done there. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, okay, why does Street Fighter 6 logo look like a... And if they, that that was the other thing, um, why it looked like a NFT symbol? Why aren't they so afraid to fail? You know, and they give you the link. I think that is why the cartoons <laughs> don't have the same meaning as other social icons. Um, uh, this content is hosted to an external platform, which is only displayed. Okay, but yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. 
um, some other points out that this new logo made it look like Street Fighter has six new messages waiting to be read. I don't buy that. It looks like it looks like a notification. I don't know what that. it looks like. It looks like a notification. That's what it means. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Which is like, where's the funny joke? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the, now that the way you explain it, it is actually pretty funny. Um, uh, since it's very difficult for this logo to become overwhelmed, many have pointed out that it is not the first time that Street Fighter logo has used um Roman no, Roman numerals. Roman numerals, the Western um, six. This wasn't the response Capcom ha had planned for when it announced the Street Fighter Street Fighter Six to the world, but there is no doubt that it, it had certainly left people. Th I mean, what did they expect? Like, 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 like seriously. Like, I, I don't, I do not understand these these graphic designers anymore. Like, 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 seriously, you have a freaking shape of an octagon with an S and an F inside of it. Out of all the logos that you have put in the past, you 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 actually mean to expect the fans to believe that you actually put effort in making this logo? No. No. Like, like th this logo looks like a carbon copy of the other one. That's all it is. The only Kip, difference Kip, Kip is said that he, he wished Capcom paid me to make the logo. <laughs> if it was that simple, shit, I, I would do it pay me too. Exactly. Dude, we are not even graphic designers. We could have easily come up with a much better logo than this. Like, like, like seriously. There is, and this is what I, this is what I was talking about having now. When you when you actually have this on display, all it does is represents laziness, which and 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 in effect. People are going to criticize it and people are going to dismiss it. That's the problem because it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. You don't want to support, you know, something that represents laziness. You don't. Now, do I think the game is going to be good overall? Ho hopefully I do. I really do hope that. And that's um, the only thing that matters. That's the only thing that matters is if the game is good. Because none of this shit, like we talk, us talking about logo ain't going to mean jack shit. When the game comes out and if it's good or bad, yeah, you, you, you but you pointed out Street Fighter Five. You remember what happened with that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah, you forgot about that. They, they didn't. No, I didn't forget about nothing. I didn't forget about nothing. I, in fact, I'm using it as a point to make to make the point. I was hyped for Street Fighter Five. Mm -hmm. They did everything right when it came to the marketing of Five, and then the game comes out and they ain't shit. They ain't shit to do on it if if the if the game's all, all offline. Yeah. Yeah. Um do 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 me do me a quick favor because you mentioned how uh Steve. Okay, I think I think his internet went out. Um while he recovers, um let me see if I can um yeah, okay, everything's fine on my end. So I think I think his internet went out. Um Kibbe said it looks like something you put on a belt like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh yeah, I mean look, the logo, the logo is not good. Like I, I I'll gladly admit it. <laughs> He's lost in the Matrix. Probably. Um Yeah, let me see if I can get in contact with him on the chat. Let me see if I can get in contact with him. Uh Yeah, I think yeah, I think his internet went out. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me reach out to him real quick and then um see if he's okay. No, I mean obviously he's fine, but I just want to know what his internet. Um... Uh, yeah. Let me see. All right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, he was he was having internet problems before before we got on. That's why we that's why we got on a little bit later. Even though we technically started at six thirty. So, yeah. So I mean, yeah. Like, look, look, look. I, I like I, I don't like I don't like the logo. Yeah. Have a good night. Have a good night. I, have a good night, Kevin. Um. Yeah. I, I look. I don't like the logo. Like the logo lazy, it's you know when you compare it to 
to the past logos of the, the past logos of Street Fighter. It's lazy. It's, I I hundred percent agree. But ultimately, you know, at the end of the day, like I don't care. I don't care about. I don't care about the, the logo being shitty. Like I don't care. But at the end of the day, like you know, like at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is is the game. Like that's all. That's all I care about. So I mean, you look at look at the past logos. Uh, uh, look at the past logos. Like all these logos in the past. Are cool logos. I mean, like, look, like you look at this this one right here. You know, like all these logos are cool. You know, especially especially um the, the Street Fighter Three one. That's my favorite one. You know, what I mean, like um you know and and you know like uh you know and this logo this logo Street Fighter Six is fucking lazy. I, absolutely, like you know, there's no denying that. But to me, like I just think that harping over a logo is just dumb. Like, it's not something I'm interested in. They're interested in having, like, a heart-to-heart -heart discussion over. So, so yeah. So, um... Ah, oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I, you know, I, I'll see if I can... Let me see if I can call him real quick. See, see what's up. See what's up. And then, um... Then we can continue from there. Yeah, let me let me call him right now. I think you guys can hear this, right? At the very least, you can hear me. Up at all. Yeah, Molter man, I don't I don't know what happened. I'm trying to call him. Um I think he, I know his internet's acting dumb. Yeah, I'm trying to call him, he's not answering. Yeah, he's not answering. I don't know what happened. This is like when when Ray Mysterio and Batista split up. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah, I, I I guess. Um, yeah, I guess that was that was weird. That was a weird tag team, but um, I guess it was, it, I guess it was a fun tag team. Let me try. Let me try to call him again. I don't. I think he's trying. I think he's probably trying to reconnect. But you know, I would like to know. You know, if he's actually trying to to reconnect. Because frankly, like you know, the next topic is it's uh, the next two topics. I know it's stuff that he wants to talk about. So. Yeah. Yeah. So what what's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Freaking dude, you will not believe what happened. What happened? That's freaking. I had a I had a power surge. Ooh. Damn. All right. So did, hold on. I'm 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 still I'm still on right now. Okay. Yeah, it's um. I think I think I, I think I can get it working now. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for those for those of you who are um, wondering right now, Steve is he had a power surge, so you lost power. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, yeah, pa power came came back on. Mm -hmm. Um, now I'm trying to see if um, uh, cannot believe that this has to happen right now, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bro. But your part, but your power is back on. Yeah, the the power is on. I'm just trying to freaking get the Wi-Fi going on now. Okay, that's gonna take that's gonna take some time. 
All right. So, so while so while so while so while traditionally try to get back online, do y'all listen to metal? Uh, very selective metal, very selective. I don't, you know, the, all the the screaming stuff is not my cup of tea. But if, if but if if the song sounds good, then I'm I'm down for it. Like um, I don't know if you consider Slipknot metal, but I, I do like listening to Slipknot. Um. Like I don't know if you. I mean, obviously, I don't know. I don't know if you consider um, Metallica metal. <laughs> um, but I, I like I like Metallica. I like old old school Metallica. I like I like new school Metallica. I don't have I don't have a I don't have a problem with old school Metallica. Um, I mean, I don't know what else you like. Hardcore metal, I'm not I'm not into. But like something like um, something more. Um, listenable, I guess you can. I more tolerable, at least for me, for my ears. Um, I can, I can deal with it. Okay, so you, so you like Metallica also? Okay, that's good. I, I like Metallica, especially. I, I, I prefer old school Metallica, but you know, I, I don't mind. I don't mind Metallica in general. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. It, it, it looks like. Uh, it looks like. Um, it's going back. Alright, internet's finally on booting up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I cannot believe this happened. Okay, hang on. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I have to listen back to see if they can hear you from my phone. But um, his internet is back on, and your Wi-Fi is back on too, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to connect the internet right now. Okay. So he should be on. He should be on shortly. And then, um, yeah, then we'll, we'll go on from there. Okay, so he said, he said that he can hear you, but um, obviously, you know, we gotta get you on. We gotta get you on the uh, podcast. Yeah. Okay. I think, like? I think it looks like the, okay. It's, it's loading. Oh, shit, um, why is this thing on? I'm, I'm, in, I'm on the invite right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Let me see. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Um, let me see. He asked me, did I watch Beavis and Butthead? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I even I even watched the, the movie. Um, Beavis and Butthead. I think, well, I forgot what the surname was called. But I, I, I did watch Beavis and Butthead as a kid. And um, didn't, they, didn't they just reboot that show uh, recently on one of the streaming apps? I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. I I even played the I even played the game on um Super Nintendo. I played on Super Nintendo. So Okay. All right, I'm hang up on you here. All right. All right, you're back. Oh my gosh. My my apologies. My apologies everybody. Freaking out of all the times we had to have a power surge now. Mm -hmm. Oh, unbelievable. Um dude, I'm trying to remember where I where I picked off, where I left off. Um, but uh, all right. You you you're in the middle of trying to expose me, apparently. Not 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 necessarily expose you, but okay. Let, let me this is what I wanted to show. Mm -hmm. Um let me let me go to share. Okay. Now, I don't know if you remember this article. Oh, can you see this? Mm -hmm. Capcom and artists resolve lawsuit regarding alleged stolen photos in Devil May Cry and Resident Evil. Now, I'm not going to read this article because this is somewhat old news. Mm -hmm. But I, I remember, I don't think you wanted to, I don't know if you just forgot about it or you just didn't want to talk about it when I mentioned this in the chat a while back. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember this at all. Yeah, so... So pretty much this is what happened. So you see, they're, they're basically showing you all the things. Well, actually, let me just read the beginning of it so you guys could get an understanding. Um, Capcom games like Resident Evil 4, Devil May Cry allegedly use unlicensed copyrighted photos extensively in its games to 
to build out environments, details, and even the Resident Evil 4 logo, according to a new lawsuit filed on Friday. Designer Judy Jurekic, I don't know how you pronounce this last name. Can you, can you pronounce this? Let me see. It's uh, Judy uh, Jurecek. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure that's how I pronounce it correctly. Right Jurecek. That's how you say it? Jur yeah, Jurecek. I think that's how you pronounce it. Well, it, well I'll, I'll just go with yours. Um, Jurecek filed her initial complaint to a Connecticut court on Friday. In the lawsuit, she alleged that Capcom used photos from her copyrighted book, Surfaces, in multiple games, including Resident Evil 4, Devil May Cry, and other Capcom games. Surfaces is a collection of 1,200 photographs of textures that Jurekic fo um, um, photographed herself. The book is intended to use for visual research for artists, um, architects, and designers, according to the book description. It was originally published in 1996. The collection comes with CD-ROMs of images, or yada, 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 whatever. Um, Jurache pointed out at least 80 photographics that are used in different scenarios across Capcom games. Oh, yeah, like, like freaking seriously, 80? Like, I mean, it's bad, it's bad enough that, you know, you are stealing. When you borrow something and you don't give it back, you're stealing. But you, freaking 80? Like, 80? Like, bro, <laughs> you could tell that this was absolutely deliberate. Now, look, Capcom games with more than 100 pages of documentation. Once one um instance called out in the lawsuit in, is regarding the shattered glass texture used in Resident Evil 4 logo. And I, as you can see, there's the Resident Evil 4 logo here with the shattered glass behind it. And as you can see, it looked exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. And look, a lot of people will think that this is not a big deal, but to her, this is her property. She's obviously going to think that this is a big deal. And here's another one right here. Um, part of Jer um, Jerichek's evidence comes from 2020 Capcom data breach, which happened in November. In that leak, Resident Evil Village launched plans to pr um, prematurely reveal the personal information for hundreds of thousands of people have been compromised, including customers, shareholders, and all. So this stuff is a very big deal. And then there's another one um, right here and this other tab. I'm not going to read this article, but as you could see, everything looks exactly the same. This is pretty much copy and paste. Mm -hmm. Pretty much copy and paste. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier, having now, where the game is good, but do you now do you see the lack of creativity that you know capcom has you know for their games and i honestly believe that uh i think this is it i i don't want to look at every single one but clearly this shows since the very beginning from the very start capcom has always been a lazy company a lazy company when it comes to creativity because all they do is just copy everybody else and and for me a, a company like Capcom, who has been well established, making you know all of these great games, you would think that they would at least put some type of effort regarding to you know creativity, um, originality, all that other stuff. But all they did was just copy from somebody else. And we we we've all we've always you know criticized you know companies when they copy off of you know somebody else. But like this one is just completely one hundred percent plagiarism. That's what it is. And Capcom seriously needs to be ashamed of themselves that they would actually go this slow of actually stealing, you know, people's property. This is stealing in its core. You know what I'm saying? Now, again, I know to you, you may not think this is, is, is not a big deal, but there is one last thing that I want to show and then we can move on. You mentioned um, how awesome, how awesome Street Fighter V um, logo looked and what, what what did you say again? You said it looked good, and what what about the gameplay? No, no, the gameplay the gameplay was fine. The problem is the problem was that the game came out bare bone. Mm -hmm. The launch in general was lazy. The gameplay was fine. I liked the game. I liked the game. You liked the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I thought you know the game you know was fine. Do I think it was the best out of all the Street Fighters? No, but regarding to their logo, I actually put this on Twitter. 
And to my surprise, um, Street Fighter Five logo, as awesome as it is, you tell me to and ask me if you see a difference in this logo, okay? And I, I want, I want if if if, if Kidvid, if um, Malta, if you're still there, I want you guys to tell me, do you see any type of resemblance whatsoever? Here, here, here's the picture. Do you see any type of resemblance at all? Yeah. To an, yeah, to an extent, yeah. To an extent. Yeah. Okay. Ha, ha, have a no. L listen to me, and I want you to listen to me closely. Okay? I want you to listen to me closely. This is proof, 100% proof, that Capcom lacks any type of creativity when it comes to whether if it's you know their logo or when or, or when it comes to you know it, like I mean I know people have been criticizing you know you know some some of their artwork regarding to um regarding to um what, what, I don't think it was people what, what game was it was it I think it was the new the, the reboot of, of um Devil May Cry and obviously you know with um you know Resident Evil 4 like they got exposed you know with Resident Evil 4 all, 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 all this is to me as as great as this logo is. Now let me tell you this: this logo is better than this logo, but clearly you could see. <laughs> I mean, the shadow falls. <laughs> the shadow. <laughs> you could clearly see that this is one hundred percent a copy. And having a, I know what you're going to do. You're going to defend Capcom on this, saying that oh, there's a small resemblance. No, this is one hundred percent a copy. One hundred percent. I don't care, man. One hundred percent a copy, Steve. I don't care. Well, first off, you don't really care about anything. Let, Walter says let, the, the he said that he likes the one on the bottom. Oh, he do. Oh. oh, okay. So you preferred the one on the bottom. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, okay. Well, yeah, well, man, I don't care. I don't care about this. I mean, I mean, I mean both bo both both logos, look, you know, look, you know. Do, you know, does look good. I think I prefer, I prefer Street Fighter. I I prefer Street Fighter. You only saying that because you like Street Fighter. That's why. No, no, I prefer the Street Fighter Five logo better. You could be honest. It's because it's Street Fighter. No, because I like the Street Fighter Five logo better. I like the look of the logo better. Yeah, I mean, okay, but if you, if you, and, and FYI, let, let, let's let's start from the beginning, right? Most a lot of, a lot of logos, especially if it's a fifth version of it, are always going to use the V. Are always going to use the V in some type of unique way, right? So you know they do it for that. It, it that that level of thinking doesn't surprise me. When you look at the logo between the Street Fighter, when it comes to Street Fighter Six, that looks like a blatant copy. This this doesn't look like a blatant copy. Stop! 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 Having a stop. But, but even stop. but even stop. even even stop. with even with all even with that, I don't like I, like this is not something that I care about. I don't it's care about this. Enough. Having no. Don't 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 play don't don't play stupid with me. I don't, don't care. With me. I, I don't I'm not care. I'm not I'm not trying to make an argument over this. But don't but don't stop playing stupid. It has not only does it has a V. Not only does it say Street Fighter in front of the V, like Double Dragon says in front of the V. Yeah, but, but don't, the, don't font, the font's here, not the same. Don't sit here and tell me. The font's not I, the look, same. I, ha I have two eyes, which were perfectly fine. I have two eyes. And I'm so and so and so does Kevin and so does Malta. I really hope they time in on this. Don't sit here and tell me, regardless if you care about this or not. Don't sit here and tell me that these two do not look the same. They don't. Look. look, look a shadow falls. A shadow falls. Don't tell me that this is not a copy. Don't. The logo itself does not look. It's not a copy. At least, to me, it don't look the same. To me, because the font, when it comes to Street Fighter and Double Dragon, do not look the same. They don't look the same. Ultimately, look at the end of the day. Like my point still stands. I don't care about this. I care about all. I care about. I don't care, is, I don't care about that. That, that. That's not what we care about. What I want you to no, I, that's is what that I don't this, care. I don't care about this. That this is one hundred percent a copy. You 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 mean you mean to tell me that this had absolutely zero influence and this a hundred percent coincidence? I have no idea. But the the thing is that what makes this different? Oh come on! What makes this different is the font. The font makes it look different. They're not the same font at all. 
It's not the same. But even with all that, like I don't. It was, even with all that, like I don't like. It's not. That's not a big deal. I don't care. I don't care. First off, you don't even care about the the the, the Street Fighter Six one. Okay, but even that looks more like a carbon copy than this one does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And they're both. They're both. They're both. They're both copies. What I'm trying. Well, the reason why I brought this in the first place is because Capcom has a track record of copying people. That's and you, I don't, look, I, you, I don't you, care you, about you, that. You, you can play dumb if you want, and, could, and you can continue to play dumb. But I showed you images of Resident Evil Four. The article talked about Devil May Cry. I don't want to go to Devil May Cry because it, it'll take too much time. But with with, with that, this is, this this is taking on too way, way too much time in the first place. First off, first off. We agreed that we was going to talk about this. So yeah. don't, 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 don't complain now. So we we are familiar. Well, you wasn't familiar with this, but when I saw when I when I saw this, and then when I saw the the lawsuit with Resident Evil Four, and now what we see with 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 with, um, with 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 Street Fighter Six, clearly there's a history of Capcom copying other companies. That's my point. And if you want to say that, you know, who cares about that? That's fine. But to me, this does not look good for Capcom. They're, they're like, they, they were already getting sued already. You're being sued already. And if you don't care about that, that's fine. But don't sit here and tell me that this, that they, they didn't copy this from this. Don't tell me that. Don't, 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 I, don't, I, don't, don't tell me that. I don't, I don't care either way. The only thing I'm saying is that the font for for what it says Street Fighter and the font for Double Dragon are not the same font. They're not. Multis multi chat dude, of course, is a copy. It's a similar name for the fifth installment and the V behind the logo. I'm not talking about the if you're if you're referring to me, if yes, you're, if you're referring you. to me, I'm not talking about the V behind the, the No, you, you logo. said it's not a copy. No, I'm talking about the font in front of the logo. It's still a copy. I'm look I'm talking about the font. Street, the, you know, like, move, move on, man. Like, I ain't got time for this bullshit. You move on, move on. Let's talk about something else. Oh crap! Did you freeze again? Yeah, it, it, it looks like I'm back on. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this, yeah. like, yeah, th th thank you, Moto. Thank you, Moto. Thank you so much. Right. You guys approval. Congratulations. Yeah, I no, no, like... no, 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 because th th this is what I'm talking about when I have these arguments with you. You like to play dumb and acting like, oh, well, and then you want to use, well, I don't care as, as a reason why, you know, this is something that we should. Why, why should I, why, uh, let me ask you, why should I care? No, no, no. No, no, answer the question. Why should I care? Why no. should I care? What I'm Tell me is, why I should care. No, no, I didn't, I didn't say that you're supposed to care. No, no, what I'm no, saying no, is you use you using we, that we, as a scapegoat. We've been we've been at this for almost an hour and a half. You Why are using, I care? You are using that as a scapegoat. Why should I care? To justify Capcom's I don't care what Capcom to, does. To, to, to the, only Capcom's care, the only thing I care only thing I care about doing. Capcom. I don't give a shit about what Capcom does with anything. The only thing that's required of, of them for me is to make Street Fighter 6 a good game. That's all I give a shit about. Is what I've been telling you from from jump. This is what I've been telling you from the jump. From jump, you can come to all this other bullshit all you want. The facts are, I don't give two shits about the logo. All I care about is the game being good. That's it. Despite you don't care, despite the fact that yes, that the last podcast we did, you complained about that logo. No, I said the logo sucks. I didn't complain about it. I said it sucks. You That's said it, it sucks. You said it sucks. You said it made Capcom look lazy. All, all I got is negative feedback from you. That's what yeah. I got. That's it. All right. All right. All right. All right. I can't. Right. I can't judge. I can't judge it on the most important thing, which is the fucking gameplay. I'm well, not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not buying. I'm not buying. I'm not not buying Street Fighter Five, Street Fighter Six because of a fucking logo. I don't care about we, the fucking logo. We didn't see. I don't any, care. We didn't see any gameplay footage. All we okay. saw. All we saw. The only thing that we saw was a logo that was copied, and a trailer that had absolutely no type of gameplay footage. That's what we saw. Okay. But the only thing that we could talk about now, because we don't have um, any gameplay footage, is what Capcom has revealed to us, which was the collection that they gave us, which is the which, which is, is the logo, which is far, which is far, with, far with, more with, egregious than anything with, that they with, copied. With, far more egregious. Yeah, which is the collection that they gave, which is the, the a small teaser of the trailer that they provide, and and also being exposed, but not just, but not, but not, but not just me. So many people on Twitter. People, the freaking Capcom is getting sued. 
they had to make reach 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 a uh, reach a uh, reach a uh, what do you call it a, a, a settlement with whatever her name is. I forgot her name. Like uh, once again, this is a track record from Capcom, a track record. And if you want to defend them by saying that you don't care and that it is not a comic because of a stupid font, uh, that, you know that's you. But just like Malta said, he's like, dude, of course it's a copy. It's and common that, sense. And, and we have eyes, and my and, and once again, I may have glasses, but I can see just fine. And that is care, a complete. And I don't care. That is a complete and copy from Capcom. And care. shame on Capcom, you know, for doing that. Shame on them. That's fine. I don't. I don't give a shit about that. Shame on them for making that shitty ass collection. Let's move on. No, 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 no. Dude, 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 trust me, trust me, trust me. When you mention the the freaking Dark Stalkers, um, having five Dark Dark Stalkers game, that is a once again a representation. Of laziness, laziness. That's and fine, that's not, and, that, and that and that's not what I like, and that's not what you don't like. That's why I, but I don't, but I don't give a shit about the logo. I don't care. <laughs> Have a no. I'm talking about the overall point. I'm talking about principle. I'm talking about. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm putting. I don't give a effort. shit about. I don't give a shit about principle when it comes to a I, logo. I'm, I care I'm, about principle I'm, when it comes to games and gameplay. Have a no. Have a no. You know, see, you're not listening. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the overall of making something that you are going to release to the public. If you are going to be lazy at any point, whether if it's with the logo, whether if it's with um, character development, whether if it's you know the gameplay, whatever that whatever that it is, you are going to get criticized by it. That's what I mean. And, and it, okay, what, that's what, whether whether if you cared or not, whether if people on Twitter cared or not, whether people who who was on YouTube cared or not. Capcom received a lot of backlash, even though the gameplay, yes, you are right, is the primary. Okay. Everything else is everything else is everything secondary. else is not important to me. Everything else is secondary, like everything, you said. yeah, everything else is not important to me. Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't mean that people are going to miss the fact that Capcom is being lazy by this. Hey, I I I said it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. That's it. That's that's that's, that's all my point's been. You keep saying that I'm, oh, you know, I agree with you that the only thing that matters is the gameplay, but yeah, you keep harping on the logo and all this other stuff. I, I don't care about that. Well, we, we don't have any gameplay footage right now. Okay, that's fine. We, can, we but, can't talk but, about gameplay right now. That's fine. And I don't have a problem talking about, or talk, you know, we you mentioned you wanted to bring up the logo stuff. That's fine. I didn't I didn't expect to spend an hour and 30 minutes on a, on a logo. Well, I, dude, this was not intentional. Come on, stop that. It, 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 feel, it feels like it to me. Dude, I I can't help that freaking I lost power. I I can't. I no, can't no, 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 no. That's not that's not that's not your fault. That's not your fault. Everything else is your fault, though. Yeah, all right. Um. Well. A, anyway. <laughs> in any anyway. Let me anyway, talk about. Let's talk about Kim Mara real quick. Um. Anyway. Um. Thank thank you. Um. Once again, uh, Malta. <laughs> like th this is what I go through with this guy. Even when it's something that is blatantly obvious. Obvious. I don't know. He, he still he still he still wants to disagree. No 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 the the the, that, the the double dragon logo and that logo is not obvious. It's not obvious. It's not the cert the, I, I I don't remember I don't remember them using the surname of Shadow Falls in anything. I don't remember where I don't know where that came from. I don't know I don't know where I don't know where that came from. But when it comes to, I'm talking about literally the the font of the Street Fighter font, the the thing you know how they use the Street Fighter to write the Street Fighter. And I don't know, if, I don't know what the name of the font is, but the font yeah, for that and Double Dragon are not the same. That's, well, the, that's the, the, the 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 whole dude, the, the whole font every, stuff. I I I ever since <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned the font. My bad, but it's funny that you mentioned the font. I, I gave up trying to figure out the names of, of each font. It's just too many. And I don't care about it anyway. Yeah, but so. the, but the font the fonts aren't the same. The fonts aren't the same. Everything else, like like everything else is is, is it, it is where it is at the end of the day. Like it's not it's not something that I can I can harp over. The only thing I could judge it ultimately is the game. That's it. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So we'll, we'll move on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Kim Maher is the re is a referee. So hopefully, hopefully this won't take too long. Um, so now that we are done with the whole um Capcom thing, um, of them being lazy, 
Hopefully they get to act together. Now we'll move along to um um what's his name? Um Ken uh Myers. Uh Power. I keep saying Myers. Um all right, we're done, we're done with the Capcom stuff. Let me X these out. Goodbye, Capcom. Peace, 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 peace. Okay. Um, where was I? Okay, so hold on. Ugh, I want to make sure this internet is fine. Uh, please be okay, because I see it um blinking again. Um, give me a second. I mean, I can hear you. You're you're on, you're still on. Yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying to see why my my Wi-Fi is like acting up. Okay. All right. So. So pretty much, um, we're going to be talking about uh, Ken Meyer. Hope I said it right. No, and, Mauer. Uh, all right. Um. <laughs> So Ken Ma Mauer um, Jr., I believe, um, he like you said, Malta. He he is an he is an official, I, or maybe I should probably say a former official now. I think he's a former official, and you know, obviously, he was in the NBA, um, and he was there for about like I think over twenty seasons. Yeah, he's been there. I, I definitely I've heard of him. He's been there a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure you recognize him, you know, from a lot of games that you have mm -hmm. watched. You know, over the years, I don't know if he's a good referee or a bad referee. I don't, I don't remember. Mm, okay, yeah, I don't remember either. I, I don't really remember that many complaints from him. But at the end of the day, though, he he had basically officiated um, about a thousand, like about a one thousand seven hundred and I think seventeen games, which is holy crap. That's a whole lot of games, and and like almost, I think, I think like two hundred twenty playoffs. Um, that he he um participated in, mm -hmm. and so if you're going to part, you, usually from what I've heard, when the official or usually goes to the you know to the playoffs or to the finals, usually they pick like the best refs. To am, am I right about that? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's. Can you see this? Uh, no. Oh, I didn't share it. Okay, my bad. Uh, uh, let's share this. Okay, so so this is you know coming you know from TMZ. Now the reason why I got this from TMZ is because I knew that ESPN wasn't going to talk about this. I knew ESPN wasn't going to talk about this, but it says that league forced me out over COVID, you know, vaccine mandate, despite you know religious beliefs. Now before I read this article, I thought this was very interesting. And let me tell you why, because in a lot of jobs and mines included, because, you know, I work, you know, um, at the hospital. They say that you will be exempt from taking, you know, the vaccine if it's, you know, for any type of, you know, medical reasons or from, you know, religious reasons. So as long as it's either one of those reasons, you will be exempt. You will you will not be um, it will not be mandatory for you to take the vaccine. And you all, and you know how I feel about when it comes to taking the vaccine, how I feel about, you know, freedom of, um, you know, freedom of taking something or not taking something. You should have every right if you want to take something or not. Now, with, with Ken, I find it very interesting that nobody wanted to cover this. I also find it interesting that nobody, like, like, I've, if this was an NBA player, such as Kyrie Irving, perfect example, as we all know. If this was an NBA player, they would have exposed that dude left to right, saying that, oh, he's not a good teammate, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, in turn, they say that, oh, you know, you have every right to take something. You have every right not to take it. At the same token, they keep telling us that you have the freedom to do what you want. Yeah, you had what? the you had the freedom to be a bad teammate. No, yeah, that's not that's not being a bad teammate. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, just because everybody does something that that doesn't mean you you should. All right, well, then you're a bad teammate then. No. No, just because just because a certain individual individuals take something that doesn't mean that you are obligated to take it. It's still your body. 
If you if, if it keeps you if it keeps you from playing games, you're a bad teammate. No, you 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 just, you just believe that people should take something by force. That's what you believe. No, no, they don't have to do anything. But don't. But they're because, they're because, they're because you, if you believe that if you believe in something, that's fine. But that doesn't excuse you from not being what you are are if you make that if you make that decision. You want to have you want to have your cake and eat it too. No, like if you decide to do something, you have to take the, you have to get the consequences of doing that, of making that decision. If you decide that you don't want to get take the vaccine, and in turn that causes you to not play games, that makes you a bad teammate. Yeah, sure it does. No, no, okay. Um, so, so it says here that um, longtime NBA Ken Mauer says he was forced out of the league after refusing to take the COVID vaccine, the COVID um, nineteen vaccine, due to religious reasons. The thirty six um, year NBA veteran. Oh wow, thirty six year. Jeez, I thought it was like twenty six or whatever, but thirty six mm-hmm. NBA veteran joined um, Jason Whitlock on his show. I'm fearless. Do you watch this show? Fuck no. What do you not ask me that question? Those type of stupid question. I don't watch this shit. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, Jason Woodlock on his show, Fearless, and reveal the reason he's been MIA from the hardwood this year is because of the league's vax mandate. I never thought that my faith in our Lord, you know, Jesus Christ, would prevent me or stop me or get in the way of me refereeing NBA basketball games. That's what happened. Maurer said, not just me, but other people. Maurer, who was raised Catholic, told Blaze TV host that after doing his own research, he has concerns about the jab. As you should. As you should. Explain read, 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 that, read, read that part. Huh? Read that part. Explaining he believes aborted fatal tissues was used in the development of the vax why do you want why, why were you so do you believe do you, let me ask you a question do you believe that uh, let me let me let me let me read it again no yeah no no, no what, you, you have to read that shit again yeah let me let me let me read, let me, let me, let me read it again because I, I already know what you're trying to do no 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 do you believe do you believe that that you there's aborted there's aborted um tissues in in the vaccine do I believe there's aborted tissues in the vaccine? Yeah. No, but it wouldn't be. It wouldn't surprise me. Why? Why would it not surprise you? No, it wouldn't surprise me. Why? Why would it not surprise you? Because there's a lot of things that that the government, or I should say, um, the pharmaceutical companies are, you know, are doing, you know, behind the scenes that 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 you know that we don't like. And like, and that and that specifically includes aborted tissue. Hey, look, hey, hey, look. The fact that people are constantly still getting sick of using, but by taking the vaccine, that that's that's I, 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 okay. Do you? I took the vaccine. Did I get sick? Well, you you asked me this question before, and you no, know what? I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to catch no, 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 you right I'm, now. No, I'm, I'm asking a question. I, I, I'm all I'm doing is asking a question. That's it. Did I get sick from the vaccine? Did you get sick? No. Okay. So it's so it's only based around you. No. No, but the, the the thing with you is that you only listen to people who 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 um who validate your concerns. That is a concern. No, 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 no. You only, you know, you only listen to people to validate your biases. That's what I meant to say. To validate your biases. So do you? Are you? Could you no, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't. No, I okay. don't. Like, so, I don't do that. So, so let me let me ask you a question. Right. And you know th- this probably could go for everybody, but let me let me ask you th- you know this question. Mm. Okay. When, when a retail store, let's say a grocery store, Publix, Walmart, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? When a when a when a w- one of the reasons why a grocery store has a product and the product you know um, is no good. Simply because that let's say let, let's say um they have a they have a product and that product gets recalled. Mm-hmm. One of the reasons why they recall that product is because they worry that some individuals will get sick. But 
they oh, recall. That's not, that's not the case all the time. Are you oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, are, you talking about, wait, are you talking about specifically products that are that are that are bad for you or stuff that are defective? Either either one. Either one. When they decide to re, um put a, 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 a product on recall, mm-hmm. that doesn't necessarily mean every single person would get sick. But if there's a chance that a few people would sick, they get rid of every single one of those products and do a reshipment. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me that just because you didn't get sick and that thousands and millions of people didn't get sick, let, 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 let's, 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 just, let's just make it simpler, right? You mean to tell me that if one million people took the vaccine mm-hmm. and out of that one million, 10,000 people got sick by taking the vaccine, you think that's a good thing? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So stop, stop right there. People, people, stop, people right there. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. People can't think it's not a good thing. I'm, go, I'm going, I'm going to catch you once more. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I already had the perfect counter to this. No, no, no. I already had the perfect counter to this. Yeah, I have the perfect counter to this. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Let me catch you some more. And, and all mm-hmm. the other, and all the other, and all the other numb skulls that be on the internet constantly putting voucher for this vaccine. Go ahead, go ahead. Numb skulls. That's what they are. Go ahead, go ahead. Continue, continue. Now, did you did you did you know that even when it's when it's uh when it's something that is a mistake, for example, let's say they had a they had a um a um so something that was uh, let me let me oh let me give you a better example. You know how a, a lot of people are um lactose intolerant, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people a lot of people are lactose intolerant. And they cannot have dairy, you know, and in, 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 in their products. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and per, per, they can't have dairy, period. If dairy happens to go into a particular product, that doesn't mean everybody is, is, is going to get sick. But, the, but because of the chances that some people will get sick, they have to 100% move, remove that product, 100%. Why? Because nobody should get sick, having no. Nobody should have any type of side effects having though. No. Why? Because our well-being counts. It's supposed to be 100 percent If something is going to be oh, mandated, let, 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 let me let me finish. Oh my god. Hurry up so I can so I can counter this. If some if something is supposed to be mandated, if something is mandated for 100 for 100 percent of the people in this country has to take, it had better be 100 percent one hundred percent. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not done. Hurry not up, done. man! Hurry up! I'm not done. It had better be one hundred percent, because if, if, even if ten million people take it, and only one hundred people got sick from taking it, it should have never been mandated in the first place. Are you done? Go ahead. Okay. First of all, when you refer to lactose, when you're trying to compare the lactose intolerant thing to the vaccine, that's a health issue. That's a health issue. So it's the vaccine. Uh, let me people finish. got sick. Let me finish. People got sick. Let me finish. Let me finish. It's a health people, thing. People died. If, if, if he if he people wanted a, if he wanted a health exemption, then he would have got then he would have gotten it. He used religion. Now again, I'm not here. I'm not here to argue his religious beliefs. He can believe what he wants to believe. No, no, no. But, there, but, there, but, there's a, but there's a different. But there's a difference between a health if if if. The difference between a health exemption, if there's something in the vaccine that will that will hurt him, then he has every right not to take it. Just like with everyone when it comes to lactose intolerance. The reason and the, but the reason why your your comment about it, about the vaccine having to be 100 percent is fucking stupid is because nothing when it comes to vaccines are 100 percent They don't mandate it. They don't it, mandate it. it. It, 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 it's the law that he that he goes with, with his job. That it is with it. Take it up with the NBA. Don't take it up with me. Take it up with the NBA. No, I'm taking up with you right now because no, no, I, no, I don't. I don't. I don't care. Because that's what I don't care. About. No, I don't care. Yeah, you I, care. I, I took the vaccine. I'm fine. Okay, okay. I took the vaccine. You, I'm okay. fine. You did. You did. What about yeah. all the people that got sick and died? What about them? What about them? Okay. What about them? What am I supposed what, to do? That shows your true care. What am I? What, what am I supposed to do? That shows your true. I'm care. supposed to cry. I'm supposed to cry for them. Everyone that I know that took the vaccine was fine. Then take more. Take 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 the booster. If that's the case, take the booster. Take 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 all the shots. Take all of them. It's it's perfectly every fine. Shot, every you're, you're shot, perfectly, every you're, shot that you're, I you're needed perfect. to make, every shot that I, I needed to have, I I did. You're perfectly did. fine. So yeah, when, right. when the when the booster comes when the booster comes when the booster well, hold on the booster's already out take the booster 
I, I'm not eligible for the booster yet. No, well, yeah, okay. Go ahead, go, go ahead, ahead. finish up. No, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like, are, are, I'm done. I'm done. Like, like, continue reading. How, how did, how did that debunk the whole recall thing? I, we already, we already had this argument three times already. No vaccine is a hundred percent. No vaccine is hundred percent. If you don't like it being um, mandated, talk to the NBA. That's not my problem. I don't give it. Look, you think I give two shits whether a referee can referee a basketball game or not? I don't give two flying fucks. I don't care. The fact that that's his problem, not mine. That's his problem, not mine. I don't give a shit if he can refer if we can referee a game in, anymore. I don't care. Mm-hmm. He it, like again and again he has every right to believe what he want to believe. But I'm sorry, but if you're going to sit here and tell me that one, I did my own research, which is bullshit, and then you want to say, oh, I believe that aborted fatal tissue is used in the development of the vaccine. All right, well, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to argue with that? I'm supposed to argue against that. I'm, I'm supposed to waste my fucking time with people who rather do their own research than people who spent their entire fucking lives doing research on the vaccine. And I'm supposed to take his his advice because he, re- he went on some fucking internet? Man, fuck out of here. I ain't got time to deal with that bullshit. I ain't got time to argue that bullshit. He could believe what he want to believe. But there's a bunch of people, and you are included, that would rather listen to a to the fucking internet, some right-wing nut job website, than actual doctors who do their research on it. What's the point of arguing with that? You believe what you want to believe. Like, I'm, I'm not wasting my time arguing with, with, with stupidity. I ain't, wor- I ain't wasting my fucking time with that. Continue reading. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not arguing with you, that. You, and, and after all of that, after all of that mumbo jumbo that you just spewed on here. I'm busy. 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 All right, move. I'm busy. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll wait till he gets back. We'll I'm, back. I'm, I'm ready. Go, go, go. Continue. Oh, okay. okay. So like, like I was going, like I was trying to say. After all that that you just said on, on after all the on here that you just said, oh, them talk, they they do their research, they went to school, they, they have experiences, all that. Even after all of that, the cause of death, they are still number one. Don't pretend, don't pretend you give, don't, don't pretend you give two shits about these. No, 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 no. I, I caught you. I caught don't you. Pretend. Don't pretend you, that you, you give shit about these people either. You, you, just said. Because they did their own research. They yeah, did. Oh, and, because, and, but that doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that nothing. Because, that doesn't mean that everything is one hundred percent. You know that. Because they went you know to that nothing is one hundred percent. You have they, it. No, 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 no. Let me, let me. I'm, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm, let me, let me. I'm not finished yet. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say this because no, I don't want to talk about. But I'm not done. Let, let, okay, I will let you finish. Let me say this. Despite the fact that they go to school for 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 this, that doesn't mean everything is one hundred percent. You and you know this. Don't act. Don't act dumb now. You know this. They're because, they're because they're because you do research doesn't mean everything works one hundred percent of the time. Okay, you you just you just read up on a story on on Monday about um what that dude named George per George Perez, right? They the doctor said that he has six months to live, or something like that, right? No, he it, it, um George, um George yeah because, because oh, crap because it's um you know a stage three. They, yeah. they, they they say they really there's nothing that they could it's it's all over his body okay. now. You know okay, that's fine. That's fine. But he they said that he has six months to live. Yes or no? no six months to a year. They, they said that he's going to die soon. Yes or no? Six months to a year. Yeah. Yeah. They have there there are, there are people who can who survive for years even after being diagnosed to death. Like not nothing. There's no there's no real exact science to this. That means that they're wrong, haven't they? That's fine. They can be wrong, but that doesn't. But that doesn't. They're because they're because you're wrong doesn't mean that the research you did is invalid. Obviously, it was because no, after, not, after, no, after all not. that, after all the research that they no, did, not. they still end up being wrong. That, no, it's not. That's the problem. You're, no, your problem is that you think everything should be black and white. Everything should be a hundred percent. Is either zero or a hundred. That's not how that's not how the world works. When it, we've had that, we've had we've had the discussion on 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 so many different topics about this that you're very that you're very much you are someone who only believes in one hundred or zero, and I'm telling you, there's shades and gray in everything. When it comes to life and death, no, I don't. All right, all right, all right. There, there's no point in arguing, like, cause, cause you're not, cause you know, like, you're not gonna change your mind, and I'm right. So like what how is it how is it how is it that you're right? How is it how is it that you're right? Here, when when what why what how come how come when it when, that's why I brought up the whole recall as an example. Because even if one person would get sick, 
one hundred percent of that product has to be removed. One hundred percent. But we're, we're but one hundred percent. No, 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 no,
No, okay, I know what you're going to say. You say you're going to say, say? You're, going, you're going to say I don't care. No, 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 no. I want the, you to say the, something that actually means something instead of I don't care. No, I was, what I'm going to say is that the players and the referees are not under the same union. So they can't, they're so like the rule, just because one set of rules are for one does, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be the same set of rules for the other. If I'm not mistaken, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't think the referees have a union, but if they did, they probably, they probably um, would have been able my, to. My, my, my bad. I, I left for a minute. I don't know if you noticed, but I left. Um, okay. uh, you, 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 the only thing, the last thing I heard you say was not, they're not in the same union. So if you don't mind. Yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not, yeah, they're not part of the same union. So, so they're not, they're not bound by the same rules as the NBA, as the NBA players. So, so if, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think they have a union. Let me let me look let me look it up. Let me look it up. Because mm-hmm. if they do have a union and they and they were in and they still were for, forced to deal with the mandate, then that's a bad job on whoever whoever um is part of the uh, part of the union. Is it is it ultimately Adam Silver's um um decision anyway? Mm. Regardless. Uh, let me hold on. Let me look at this up and then uh, let me let me answer it. Hold on. All right. And while he, while he's um looking this up, because you know, I think that would be a very good piece, um, good you know, piece of information that Hoovy is going to bring up. Okay, okay. Oh, you All found right. it. All right, so let, let me get out of here since you found okay, it. Okay, so okay, the NBA referee like the players are. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Let, let, let me let me get out. Let me let me stop sharing this thing. Um, because I want to see your um what you okay, got. Let me, share, let me share. Let me share. So they are part of the same collective bargaining agreement. Oh, they are. Yeah, but okay. I don't understand why they have. To, I don't know why they're mandated to take the vaccine. Yeah, oh, I gotta read this. Um, yeah, read it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom right, in right. on my side. Yeah, the NBA referees, like the players, and are governed by the collective bargaining agreement with the NBA, and they have representatives who help them negotiate with the league. This informal union. So it. So. Hmm. All right. Let me. Yeah. Let me read this. Let me. Let me. Hopefully. Hopefully, this is. Um, Oh okay. wow! They have, they have a whole huge. Okay, get get rid of that thing on the bottom that says hide. Um, whatever. Yeah. All right. All right. So the NBA referees, like their players, are governed by the collective bargaining agreement with the NBA and have representatives who help them negotiate with the league, whether it's wages, working benefits, and other issues. The NBRA helps ensure the referees are valued for their essential contribution to the game. Below are some of the significant periods. And our history, including how, when, and why the NBA was formed. So they technically they do have a union. So yeah. why why did the union not why did the union not fight for them not to have um not to have vaccine mandates? Well, ho, ho, what what did it say um in the next um if you don't mind going back? I I think it was just a bu- it's just like a bunch of stuff that um it was just their history as far as um what they what they did for the for the um referees but nothing regarding um nothing regarding the vaccine mandate oh i, I thought that was interesting up there where, where it said um mm-hmm. the one, um uh, where, where yeah what were you, what were you saying the one where, where it says uh oh, oh, go back go back down where it said still lacking a collective bargaining agreement cba and with an ongoing need oh yeah that, yeah that yeah. happened in 1977 oh okay 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 yeah, that, that's when that's when the union that's when their union was formed. Okay, so 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 yeah, the reason why I wanted to read that part was because it looked like they've been um associated along with the players since day one. Yeah, 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 yeah pretty much since well since nineteen seventy seven. So yeah. I don't I like so I don't know why they're subject to the mandate and the players are not. That's why I don't I don't I don't I don't get that. And it's wrong. I mean, if if no, say, say it, say, say it, say it. No, no, if, if, if I don't know, I don't know what the what the what the what the rules say. That I, I don't know what the the rules say. Wait, well, you just you just read it to us. I mean, look, I I'm not look, I'm not against the vaccine, so I'm not going to sit here and cap for a guy who who's against it. I'm not doing that because I, I don't have because I, I don't have the same adverse effect to the vaccine that you do. That's fine, but you just said that you just said um, if 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 players. Don't have to take it. 
Yeah, if they're all part of the same collective bargaining agreement, I don't see. I like if he if he's upset, he needs to take it up with the head of the of the MBRA. That's who he need to take it up with. He need to take it up with them. Um. Let, let, let me let me play this um you know r- r- real quick. I'm not gonna show it because I'm afraid of copyright. But hey, I'm, l- listen to this real quick. Mm-hmm. I'll try to explain it as best I can why I'm in the situation I'm in. But basically, as a you know, I, I guess I never thought that my faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, you said that uh, one already. Let me prevent me or stop me or get in the way of me refereeing NBA basketball games. And that's that's uh that's about it in a nutshell. And that's what's happened. And um not to just me but other people. Um, we were, uh, you know, offered a one-year contract at the beginning of this season. Um, our union, our executive board came to us, came to the staff with a one-year contract. But in that one-year contract, we had to mandate or, or, or the league was requesting that we mandate all of us taking the vaccine. And um, it was a shock to, to all of us or to a lot of us because last year, um, through a, a, a much more difficult time, um, you know, even through the bubble, uh, referees were given the option to either take the vaccine or you could test. Last year, Jason, I was I tested four times on game days. Four times each game day, you tested four times. Four times, um, because I had chosen not to take the vaccine, and back then, uh, we the, the booster wasn't in play yet. But um, you know, off days we we test. Um, at home we test, but on game days I would literally test as many as four times on game days, and. Because you wanted to, or because the league required that? Really, the league mandated it. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. So the, the that is just absolutely pathetic. And and and, and let me and let me say this. I mean, the, the whole interview was, was too long. I, I I'm not playing the whole thing. That is absolutely pathetic, and it's sad, and it is 100 percent proof. Let me 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 go back here again. Let me go um and, and share um you know this article again, because that's what I highlighted. And that is what I want you to see, regardless if you support him or not. The fact that now that we confirmed, you confirmed, I'll give you 100% credit for looking because I didn't feel like looking when it comes to they're under the same, you know. Um, CBA, um, but they do have their own. They do have their own union, though. Mm-hmm. They are. They are under. They are under the same. They are under the same CBA, but they do have their own union. Mm-hmm. Um, it says so. The players don't have. Uh, the, there's no vaccine mandate for the players, but for him to say that he had a mandate and that referees, other ref- I don't know who the other referees are. Um, um, are. Um, I'll probably you know look it up you know a little later, but I, I don't know who. The, I mean, who he, he, he never are. he never he never named any of them. Yeah, but let me see. Um, hard. Let me see if I, if I can find it. He's ultimately felt forced to take the jab. There are yeah, 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 on there. Okay, I don't think it's who are forced to take it because their families. Um, okay, all right, all right. Let me let me just finish up so then I can get out of here. Uh, Mauer expressed no regrets over his decision to remain unvaccinated and says that he thinks it's a shame workers across the country have been bullied into getting the shot. I'm not ashamed of what I'm doing while you're starting the interview. Okay, okay, I, yeah, I think I did. Um, uh, okay, yeah, he's very proud and he's um proud of his faith. Yeah, I'm I'm part of my faith too. Now, this once again shows to me, in my opinion, that it had nothing to do with safety. It had nothing to do with principle. All this was about was to have 100% control. That's it. No, what it is is that they don't want to be, they don't want to be sued for, for, for wrongful death. Who, the NBA? Mm-hmm. Wait, what were you talking about? Let me, let me throw this scenario out there for you. All right. Yeah. So let's say you're Ken Maurer, you're proudly unvaccinated, mm-hmm. right? You you go around, you go to NBA City, NBA City, no, probably not wearing a mask, just going around and and just doing your job, right? He ca- he catches COVID, right? Catches COVID, you know he's old, so he catches COVID, he gets really sick, he dies. What do you think that his family's gonna do? They're they're probably gonna sue the NBA. You know that for a fact? It could be. It's definitely on the table. It's one hundred percent on the table. And you don't need, like I said, like all you need is a lawyer. But how can you? How can you do that? If he chooses to take it, if if, 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 all you need is a lawyer, 
to explain this to them to find loopholes. You know how lawyers are. They'll find any loophole to justify suing suing the NBA. Or at least at the very least. And they, but most time people don't sue to win. They sue to get a settlement. Sometimes people just sue to get a settlement. Mm-hmm. Because the NBA is probably not interested in, in going through this through, through this litigation. So they'd rather just buy you out and and make sure that you're, you know, make sure that you, you know, don't say nothing anymore. Well, the reason why I don't buy that is because if that's the case, then they they would have gotten rid of um Bill and Kyrie in the first place. Since since, since they okay, won. again, the referees are under the referees are under are, are clearly under a, a, a different standard. Are clearly under a different standard. Well, you just read it. They're under the same. Um, yeah, they're under the same CBA, but clearly the, the the players are not subject to a mandate. They are. Okay, but then we can't we can't mention anything about suing then. Then that throws the whole suing out of the water. Listen to what I'm saying. In the water, I mean. The, like, look, if the family want, and look, I don't know what his his pension is, but if the family decides that they want to sue, then if they get a lawyer who is very good, who can who can you know find a way for them to to sue and ultimately get a settlement out of it, that's going that could happen. That's why that's the main reason why all these safety safety protocols are there for. They're not they're not there because they give a shit about your safety. No, they care because they don't want to get sued. They don't, they don't they don't give a, they don't give a rip about your safety. No, but they don't want to get sued. That's why that's why that's why all these safety protocols are there. So in the case that he does get COVID and he dies, they can say, "Oh well, we 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 put the guideline, we put the protocol, we put all that stuff together." So you know his, his death is down on our hands. That's what they're going to argue. Yeah, but I, I still don't think that'll play in their favor since they have players who are not vaccinated either. It, 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 it can't it can't go in their favor because that that's just hypocrisy right there flat out i'm just i'm just telling i'm just telling you what i i'm just telling you what their idea of why they do what they do are i'm just that's what i thought that's all that's i'm just telling you the reason why they have these safety protocols in place yeah, you know, yeah that, that's fine but it's it still doesn't you know change the fact that you know the, the hypocrisy in it and the, and you you mentioned you know the whole thing with mask you know since day one i was always against it I, I don't want to have. I don't have. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But one, one, the reason why I brought that up is because even you, because I, I remember when we were in the group chat, we, 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 we made fun. We made fun of it because I addressed the fact that okay, so you're telling us that we have to wear a mask, but then when we go out to eat, we go out to eat, we sit down on the table. It's okay to take the mask off. We take. We 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 have to take the mask off. So, which 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 means the, the the virus is is basically sophistic, sophisticated enough <laughs> to, to so he so basically what you're basically saying is that when you're sitting down on the dinner table, the virus took a break. The virus took a break. That that that's that's basically what you're saying. Look, I don't I don't want to have I don't have a discussion about no 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 the mask and it's now even more of a um they're being more of a hypocrite when it comes to when it comes to you know the vaccine because if what you're saying is true that they're afraid to get sued then Kyrie and and and, and Bradley Bill should have never been in the league in the first place as soon as they announced that they weren't going to take the vaccine they should have kicked them out of the league and they were not going to do that so don't I, I don't I mean, the, net, the, net, the net did and then they bought them back and, yeah. and 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 Jersey has no mandate. No, not Jersey. Um, Washington has no mandate. Okay. The play, look, the players have the stroke to to decide whether or not they want to take the vaccine or not. They have the stroke. That's why. That's why. That's why they they're not they're not mandated. The referees ain't got no goddamn stroke. They're referees. Who gives a shit? They're referees. You know what I mean? Like, if like at the end of the day, like the ref like. Is all one is about is about leverage. The NBA players have leverage. Referees don't. This, this, this is that simple. I I just I just think, you know, the NBA needs to you know get exposed. You know for you know for this. And I and I and I and I, and I thought that it was very suspicious that why ESPN didn't want to cover it, because again they they I think at the end of the day they know what you're doing is wrong. 
they know it. Because I don't want to hear people say that, well, it's because he didn't take the vaccine, but yet other players didn't take the vaccine, but yet they still get to play. But he don't get to ref. It's 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 a it's a contradiction. It is wrong, and they need to be exposed for it. They do. And you know, I, I, unfortunately, you know, this had to happen to him. He he seems like he's a real cool guy. You know, you know, a great you know nice guy or whatever. He talked about his family and whatnot. But this is a, a very unfortunate situation that happened to him, and it is clear that having this vaccine had caused even more of a division in this country than actually uniting people. Because if you if you if you're going to talk about freedom of freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom, you know, to take this, you know, to take that, that's no longer being embraced anymore. Now it's really all about like you said about money and it's about control in my opinion. And if that means you have to lie or if that means that you have to contradict yourself to do it, then so be it because that's exactly what the NBA did. That's exactly what they did. And shame on the NBA for doing that. Anyway, let's move on. Yawn. I don't give a shit. Anyways, um, yeah, that's what let, I said. Yon. That's what I said. I, I already said that you, you was going to say that you didn't care. I already said no, that. I don't. Like, I don't care about. I don't care about. I don't care about referees. I don't care. He'll he'll be fine. I mean, I, I the one thing I will I will say is if. They just because look, the man is gonna be gone by next year. I, I I believe the man is gonna be gone by next year. You really think that? Mm-hmm. They said that. It, last it, year. Would he would he come back next year? Would he come back next year? I, I if I'm the NBA, I I, I left it. I'll leave his ass home. I would leave his ass home. Why? If it's not an issue anymore? If not, well, then I don't like like dealing with guys who who rather go public. With with his issues, instead of talking to the league and talking to, um, what's his name, uh, Adam Silver, he wants to go on that that fucking Coons show to talk about to talk about the vac- to talk about or oh, uh, vaccine all the other shit. Like, man, fuck out of here. I I will leave him home. Yeah, that 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 shows how much heart you have. Like, it, it's it's clearly that you're on the side of control now. You you no, I'm, you, I'm, I'm you, on, no I'm you, on the side I'm on the side not giving a shit about you about and that. you. That, you that's, and, what, that's what side I'm on. You and Kidvid, bo- bo- both of you, because because you you always talk about you know this vaccine nonsense, and Kidvid is always on you know the group chat telling me, oh, let me ask you a question. Have I, have, I ever, have I ever told you? I, I, have I, I ever told I, you I, take I, the vaccine? No, 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 let me, let me finish. Let me finish. No, no, mm-hmm. I, I I didn't say that you did. I'm talking about Yoshi. I, I don't I don't care what Yoshi does. No, have I ever I do I ever told you I do I ever told you I do I ever told you take the vaccine. I do. Well, have, have I ever told you to take the vaccine? I think you. No, the answer is no. When I think what you said was the answer is no. Let me finish. When I think you talked to me about it, with um, when you said that um that that your sister took it, and then you said that you know that you was going to take it. You didn't say that I should take it, but you did. I never told you. I never told you you should take it. That's, that's what I said. You. I just said that. But what you did do. Now, maybe I'm wrong for for thinking this way. Maybe maybe I analyzed it wrong. Maybe I heard you wrong. But it seemed like what you were trying to do, not convince me to take it, but you was trying to give encouragement that taking the vaccine is a good idea. That's what I think you did. No, absolutely not. I don't give a shit what you guys do. I I told you what the what got me to take the vaccine. So like I said, look, look, let me let me cap off this this thing with Kim Maurer real quick, all right? And then we can get to Zion. Oh, you I think you said didn't care. No, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna cap it off. You you capped off your thing, I'm gonna cap off this, right? Look, at the end of the day, like if he has a problem with with the mandate, he needs to talk to the people who can help him get that to get that shit through. Talking to Jason Whitlock I ain't gonna do that. He has his representatives, he has Adam Silver. Adam Silver just went on the show and defended Kyrie for his stance on the vaccine. Well, um, do you remember? He, what he it said. Was? He said. He said. Huh? You remember what show it was? Um, I think it was. It was. It was on ESPN. Oh, okay, okay. It was on ESPN. He said that it doesn't make sense that he that Kyrie can't play in New York, but players who are who are not vaccinated can play in New York. He that what he said. Well, I, I I remember I said that. Like, yeah, you. Yeah, you said it too. The facts are, if you have a problem, talk to the people who can get that stuff done. 
talk to the people who can get who can get it fixed. Talking to Jason Willock ain't gonna get it fixed. All you're doing at that point in time is getting attention for yourself. That's what you're doing. You think you really think that's what he's doing? Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. Hmm. That's exactly what he's doing. Why do you think he went on Jason Willock's podcast um show? Well, well, I think the reason why he went there is because nobody else wants to talk about it. ESPN, I mean, ESPN is not going to talk about this. I mean, look, look at what, look at what, um, what um, Adam Silver just said. He did that on ESPN. He did that on ESPN. And the only place where he can get away with saying that fate, that abort, that abortions, that stuff that has to do with abortion, abortion, um, tissue. Is is in the vaccine is on Jason Whitlock's podcast because he's not going to get challenged on that podcast. Um, because a lot, because, because a lot of the, a lot of the same people who believe in the bullshit that he does watch Jason Whitlock's show. So what? So he's not going to get challenged there. If he said that on ESPN, he would get challenged. About the abortion thing. Um, yeah. Look, look, look I actually, I, I think that's a huge stretch. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. Do I do I believe that? No, I don't. I don't have. I'm not just going to say that he's 100 percent right just because he did his you know independent. All right, but my point is that the only reason the, the reason why he's on that show is to spew that type of nonsense. He knows for a fact that he did that on ESPN. He would get challenged. But but you know what I think though? I don't think he's and and, and all he and, think that he's lying. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, no, go ahead. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that he feels that. He's lying. I think he, is, he can he can believe what he want to believe. That what that's the that's the thing about that's like everyone who believes in the stupid shit that they believe in, they truly believe it. They truly believe it. Yeah. So it's like so like at the end of the day, like and the reason why I said that I would I wouldn't I wouldn't bring him back once the mandate's over is because you're you're the, all you're doing is creating um is creating attention for yourself. If you wanted if you wanted the stuff to get fi- it fixed. You have you you can talk to Adam Silver, you can talk to your to your representatives. I guarantee you that ESPN would bring him on. I don't like maybe 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 not. But the facts are, if he wanted to get help, if he wanted to get this thing solved, he knows who to talk to. And the per- when one person not to talk to is fucking Jason Whitlock. But he did it because he knows that he's not going to get challenged when he goes on that program. Don't I don't be surprised you see him on Fox or Newsmax or any of these other right wing right wing news outlets who will let him say the stupid shit that he says. Because at the end of the day, he's not gonna get challenged. They're gonna sympathize with him, just like they did the same shit with Enos Cantor or Enos Freedom, whatever the fuck his name is. They look for people to use as as examples, to use them as martyrs. That's all they do it for. It's a fear they don't they don't they, they don't yeah, you can say that. They don't give a shit about these people. They can just use them as an example. Once they have something that they that they want to, they, they once these people that they use as martyrs, they 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 want to come back to talk about something that doesn't go against their that goes against their agenda. They they're gonna ghost them. Mm-hmm. They're gonna ghost them. So that's all. That's all I gotta say about that. No, yeah, it didn't. You know, you know, that's fine, but. I, I'm actually glad that you acknowledge that this is somewhat of a form of hypocrisy on, on, on the NBA's part. No, but like I said, he has he has the opportunity to fix it. No, I, mean, I, ho- I hope I hope he I hope he does fix it, and I hope the NBA does bring them back for the simple fact that what they they know what they did was wrong. Because you know, because again, now I know you're gonna go on, you know, move on, and we went for this, you know, for too long. Talk about this for too long, but. I feel like once things doesn't add up, once things does not go in line, once I'm once I start witnessing, you know, hypocrisy, you know, within the rules, or, or if something, if I have to live in a hypocr- um, hypocritical lifestyle, I'm not going to support it. I'm not supporting it, and that and that that is why I will never support the vaccine. I will never support, you know, wearing a mask. I will never support wearing, you know, some stupid booster and all this other. You know, mumbo jumbo and out and all this other um, policies and mandates that people try to have to make it seem like oh, it, it's about safety. It's not about safety. It's all it did. Just want to you know, it's all about you know politics. At the end of the day, that's all it is. They want to they want to make everything political. It has nothing to do with safety. It has nothing to do with anything else. And you know, it, it, it makes me sick. You know, to say it because 
I count on these, you know, government officials to do the right thing. That's the first, that, that was your first mistake. That was your first mistake. Counting on counting on politicians to do the right thing. That they're, they're supposed to represent us. That's their you job. Know, yeah, that's not that's, that's not the, that's not what their job is. That's what that's that's their job. That's what they and tell you. And, and when you and when they don't try to inform their constituents, I have a problem with that. And then I when understand, it's, I understand, and, I understand, but that's not what they, that's not what they that's not what they're there for. They're there to make money for the, for the people who to keep the rich rich and the poor poor. That's what their job is. No, let's let's not go into that right now. We, we no, no, you go, you don't you don't agree with me, even though it's true. Let, let, let's, let's let's not let's not go too far into that. You, you know we're gonna be it's gonna be another hour once you talk about the rich and poor and all the other stuff. All right, anyway, anyway, that, anyway. that'll be that'll be. I, I think the, I think the, the volume's coming from your side. What's going on there? The volume. Yeah. What do you mean the volume? Oh, that's me. My bad. Yeah, that, that's definitely that's you. That's, that's, me, not that's me. me. All right. Anyway, okay. All right, so this is this is the situation with Zion Williamson, Williamson, CJ McCollum, and JJ Redick, right? Zion Williamson has been absent from from the court this season because of a foot injury, but according to JJ Redick, Williamson has been absent absent as a teammate for his entire time in the NBA. There's a responsibility that you have as an athlete when you play a team sport to be fully invested. Redick said Tuesday on First Take, "You're fully." You're, you're fully invested in your body, you're fully invested in your work, and you're fully invested in your teammates. That is your responsibility, and we have not seen that from Zion. Um, you, You're quoting J.J. Redick, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Redick and Williamson were teammates with the Pelicans for parts of the past two years, two seasons before Redick announced his retirement and joined ESPN as an NBA analyst before the season, before this season. Mm-hmm. Redick has said, has said he voiced the, his concerns with, with Williamson while in New Orleans. This is something I addressed with Zion in front of the team, Reddick said. This is going back to his rookie year. Oh, wow. Rookie year. Oh, Williamson's yeah. possible issues with the teammate with as a teammate came in public view during the this past week's weekend all-star festivities when CJ McCollum said he hasn't spoken to Williamson since he was traded to New Orleans from Portland at the trade deadline. And this is McCollum speaking. I haven't had conversation with him directly. I've spoken with some people close to him and look forward to sitting down with him sooner rather than later. Sooner than later, McCollum says Saturday night. I know about, I know about as much as you do right now, but I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Now, let me before I read the rest. Mm-hmm. That is such a, that is such a huge indictment on Zion Williamson. Huge indictment on him. Yes. How is it that you have a guy like you? Okay, here you have CJ McCollum, right? He's been he's been a star in this league. You know, he just came from Portland. He's been he's been in the NBA for a long time. He's there to help improve your team. And here you are, you are the 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 number one player on the team, and you haven't spoken to him at all. At all? How does that make any sense? Yeah. How does that make any sense whatsoever? And the part, the part that that I don't understand, I, I re- remember when you and I had the argument um, when we were comparing Zion to um, to Ja Morant, mm-hmm. and you know you were saying how he still is the you know the overall um, you know draft pick, the first overall draft pick, and then you were mm-hmm. saying that you know what you know whatever whatever. Now. I remember somebody had said, I forgot who said this, but we're saying how usually when you're like the number one draft pick, you know, you have all this pressure, um, you know, you know, to, you know, to get good because, you know, you're on public display, yada, 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 you know, and this and that. And I also remember, I think even you said this, that usually the best player is the player um, that is the leader of the team. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember if you, if you said that. I yeah, yeah I, I, it, it's true. It's true. Like they don't have to be like raw, raw guy, but you know, but you're 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 the key guy of the fr- you're the key guy of the franchise, and you and you don't you don't reach out to a a well known player in the league. Yeah, and that 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 continues to show how he not only has he you know obviously you know have been lazy, of uh, when it comes to you know him gaining weight and all this other stuff, and how. People feel like he's not reliable because of because of his health. Mm-hmm. 
But now with, with 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 those two and with the combination of you not even talking to your players, you know that you know and and I, in my opinion, that is somebody that I just don't want in my team. Let me let me read let me read this part and then I'll I'll give you a theory as to why I think all this is happening. Okay. All right. So, all right. So so okay. And this is another interview that McCollum did, where McCollum told Malika Andrews on Tuesday that he has since spoken to Zion. He, he that he did speak to him eventually. And the only reason why that happened is because he got shamed into talking to CJ McCollum. He who got shamed? Zion. Oh, he got shamed for for not talking to him. Yeah. So what happened was they um, Malika, I guess, did a follow up interview with him a couple of days later with, with McCollum later. Yes. Right. And then McCollum said that they that they did uh, that they they finally did speak. Oh wow. So wh- where does it say that at? Um... You should see. It, um, let me highlight it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just just read it. No, I read, I read, I read it, I read it. Like he said, McCollum told Malika Andrews on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. That he has since spoken to Zion Williamson, and then continuing on, Reddick said Williams Williamson's initial silence toward McCollum is part of a pattern of behavior. This just shows a complete lack of investment in your team, in the organization, in the city. Reddick said, "I get that you're hurt and away from the team, but you but you just traded for one of the t- of fifty of of the fifty best players in the league, a guy that's supposed to be paired with you." Reach out, reach out, and say hello. This is a pattern of behavior with Zion that we are seeing again and again. If I was his teammate, I would. I, if, if I, yeah, I was his teammate, and I can describe him as de- as a detached teammate. That is a, That is an accurate statement. Jeez. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Yeah, this is pretty much everything else. Is, is let, me, let, me, let me let me read this. Part. Okay, so William has not played this season after suffering a fracture. Okay, yeah, we know that. Mm-hmm. After there was a initial um, optimism that Williamson would be back for the start of the season, his return has been delayed um, several times. Okay, look. Now, you would think that knowing that you have not been available to play, don't remember, you're not, you're not just screwing your teammates over in the organization. It's also the fans that you're screwing over. You mean to tell me, uh, and look, common sense has to come to this guy. You mean to tell me that you haven't even attempted to reach out to any of your teammates? You, you, you would think that somebody who hasn't been playing would at the very least communicate what's going on in, in, his, in, 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 in his life regarding, you know, with, you know, with his health. You know um, what, what he's been doing, and you know, yada yada yada. So is that so that way, the teammates you know could stay engaged because you are the leader of that team. You're the leader of that team. And I, I have a theory why all this is happening. All right. I think you like when I always heard rumors and stuff like that that you know he you know wasn't that he's not interested in being there. This is proof that he doesn't want to be there. This is proof. So what you're saying is he's essentially pulling the Ben Simmons route. He's pulling a Ben Simmons to a degree. I wouldn't go that far, but he doesn't want to be there. He does not want to be there. He wants he, I, like, and I think, I don't know if Stephen A. Smith said this or someone else said this, but remember the New York Knicks had a chance to draft him. Right. The problem is that he, they, he, he went, the, the, the New Orleans Pelicans won the lottery. Correct. So I think Zion Williamson, I think he he doesn't want to play in New Orleans. He wants to play in a big market. I think he wants to play in New York. He wants to play in New York. Mm-hmm. And so you so all of this you believe is intentional. Mm-hmm. And you and and you believe this is probably a way for for the organization to have no to choice. Trade it. Yeah. To trade him yes. to somewhere else. Yes. yes, yes, I believe this is that's exactly what's happening. Like this has been a pattern, and look, let me tell you why I, I mentioned Ben Simmons. You saw because you said yourself by 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 him, you know, not interacting with the players, mm-hmm. by him not partaking, you know, you know, even you know, traveling, you know, with the players, and you know, he's basically doing, he's basically isolated himself, you know, with you know, with everybody. The organization had no choice but to trade him. 
And I don't, I don't know if they, I don't know if they have a choice, but the, I don't think I don't think it's a situation where they have to they have to trade him. Cause look, look, you like he, he he's done jack shit in his career. He's done nothing in his career to to warrant. Oh, um, I can demand this and demand that. That's why the whole thing with Ben Simmons made no sense because, like, you've been in the league for like. Like at least, at least with Ben Simmons, he's been in the league for at least you know three four years. Mm-hmm. This dude hasn't even played eighty two games yet. <laughs> he hasn't even played eighty two games yet, and he's already pulling this bullshit. Like yeah. when you have when you have some when you have a teammate or someone who now okay not only are they teammates, but they also have the same representative when it comes to their agent. They have the same agent. They have the same agent, and for wow. him to go out there and do. And to say this for CJ McCollum to shame you on national TV, saying, "Oh, I haven't talked to him yet." Like, come on! Like, clearly he don't want to be there no more. And I'm and I'm and I'm like, my guy, you've been you haven't played eighty two games yet. What are you What are you demanding? What are you demanding? Oh, oh, you're mad because um New Orleans picked you number one instead of New York. Like that's the that's the look. Like you, you, you always say that I'm for I'm pro, um, player empowerment, and I am to an extent. Yes, I am. Yeah, for real. Yes, I am. But here, but here, here's the thing, though. You do you remember? Do you remember a guy named Royce White? No. Okay. You, you, you probably have to like show me or but who who is he? Okay, Roy, Royce White was it was an NBA was a I think he I think he played college, right? He like people said that he was his skill level was the same level as LeBron. He was that good, according to what people say. That, oh, that I think, think I remember. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Uh-huh. The, only th- the problem with him was that he had a fear of flying. He had a fear of fear. Yeah, he had a fear of flying. Right? Like, and, that, and that's fine. Like, I, I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like going on airplanes. You know what I mean? Like, you have a fear of flying too? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I can, I can think of one plane crash that I heard in my life where there, there were survivors. You know what I mean? Like, you know, what I mean that, that's, that's, that's for another, that's a story for another day. Mm-hmm. But he, he, but he has a fear of flying, and he wanted, whatever NBA team that he went to, to accommodate him when, when they're on the road where they, instead of you know taking a plane, he'll take a bus. Why should an NBA team have to go through that for a guy who don't they don't know if they're if he's any good? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like again, and, and also you have the criteria in place where, where you need to do this, this, and this in order to be eligible to play. If you're going if you're so hell-bent on going into the league, you know the requirements it takes for you to be a, to be an NBA player. You know that okay, you go to practice, you you talk to the media. You you um you suit up, you play games, you travel with the team. Those are all the requirements. Especially if you're a superstar, then you can make exceptions. Mm-hmm. But you you just got into the league. You just got you just got into the league. They're not going to make accommodations for you. Yeah, like when when it comes to greatness, when it comes to your your excellent performance. And how even if let's say you exceeded you know expectations, eventually you are going to receive perks like you like you know um like you said mm-hmm. you are going to you are going to get perks you are going to get favors if, if, yeah. if that's a, you know better term yeah what favors that did that, that dude earn nothing it's like nothing like, and, and and my and my main point my main point is this right you're 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 Zion you're Zion you're Zion Williamson right. You know the criteria. You know the criteria. If you didn't want to play for New Orleans, then don't enter the draft. Period. Don't enter the draft. If you're going to act this way because a team because the Knicks didn't pick you, like don't enter the draft. Mm. That's the like those are, those are the requirements that it takes for an NBA play for uh, someone to join the NBA. That sometimes you get drafted. Right. And if you and it, and and when it comes to everything, when it comes to CJ and the stuff that JJ has been saying, I'm like, bro, like, what, what, are you, what are you doing? Like, you're you're you okay? You you ha- you've been dealing with an injury. You're you're doing this away from the team. You're a fucking rookie. What 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 are you, what, what what team do you have? 
What team do you have where you're doing you're doing your stuff away from the team? You you like everything that he's doing comes off to me that he's trying to get out of there. Can can will it be a stretch? Or will it be a bit um, hyperbolic if if I say maybe he doesn't care about basketball? I mean, shit. Right now, I I can't I can't argue I can't make I can't argue that. I can't argue that because if you care enough you know, about basketball, you'd be out there. Especially and and, and, I, and I look at the the Pelicans team. They have been, they have Brendan Ingram. They just traded for CJ McCollum. How, why why why? Like, again, I get if you're hurt, I get that you're hurt. But all this stuff that I'm hearing shows me that if, if that you know if he was if he was in New York, he would have been playing right now. I think he would have been playing if he was in New York, if he was in LA, if he was in Miami, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I, I do, I do believe that. And um, if and, and also if he if he was in those places, he would be in better shape. If he say it again, if he was in those, if he was in New York, Miami, whatever those glamour cities, he would be in shape. Oh, they would tell, they would, they would force him to be in shape. Like I mean, they like would, everything. Okay, okay. The, the the problem the problem the other problem you know that I that I have is dude the, the what, what what is the organization what is the organization doing? I I'm 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 a little ticked off now because if JJ Reddick is saying this now, and look I I understand, I understand dude I one hundred percent understand when people say. You have to keep things within the locker room, you know, yada, 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 and, and all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, though, you still owe this to the fans. I mean, look, f- forget about me. What about the what about the people who are, who are buying, you know, your tickets? They also, need to know, yeah, they need to know what's going on. Go ahead. No, and there, there, and there was something in, um, I think, New Orleans sent the email to their t- season ticket holders, right? And they mentioned all the names of all their top guys. Name the what was the one guy who wasn't on that on that list? Oh my god, Zion Williamson. I didn't even know that, dude. I had no idea. Dude, about there that. is clearly there is a there is a deep disconnect when it comes to to Zion and that team. I don't think he wants to be there. And I'm like, yeah. bro, you've been there for you've been there literally. You've been there for half a second. Like you, you have no idea. Like you have no idea if you know if this team is committed to winning, right? They are. They have a GM who's been it was been an NBA champion GM before, and David Griffin. Not only did they they got they got coaches who have very good pedigrees for you. They got they got good players on that team. Yo, you're 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 breaking up like really really bad. Really, because I mean, I think I think the problem's on your end. But let me let me let me repeat. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. But it, it sounded like you were you were breaking up, like um like like before. It, it could be me, but it looked like you were breaking yeah. up a lot. Okay, all right, all right. But okay, like like I was saying, and you can hear me, right? Yeah, I yeah, Steve, your your connection's all over the place. But can you hear me? Oh, I can hear me. Ah, oh, crap. Are you there? Oh my you goodness! There? I think I'm. I think I'm. Um, I I didn't hear a word you said. I think my internet is acting up again. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Can you, but can you hear me though? Can you hear me right now? I I can hear you now. Okay. Now, I, I I was just worried about this, but yeah, I didn't hear not one thing that you said. It, right, it just right. it just like did, right, yeah. did, did my camera did my camera like freeze or anything? Yeah, your camera was freezing a little bit. It, everything seems fine now. Uh, okay, hopefully it's okay now. All right, but, go but ahead. I, I do want to make sure you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, like they have, they they've gotten coaches, they've gotten good coaches for him there. They have a they have a GM who who helped win it, who helped win the Cavaliers championship, David Griffin, right? They have good players. What do, what do, what do, what are you so upset about? Why like what what would be the reason why to leave why to leave New Orleans? What would be the and, reason why you would leave, leave New Orleans? Go ahead. And I'm and I'm looking at this right now. Look, look, look. Um, hold on a second. I'm looking at this right now. 
And right now, now remember, he hasn't. He when, when the last time he even played a game? Do you remember? Man, it was last year. Last mm, year. Yeah, um, yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty much, yeah, pretty much, yeah, pretty much last year. Wow. And and and, dude, right now they they are they are in the 12th seed right now. They're tied. They're they're tied um with the Spurs, and they're basically, wow, dude, they're they're two games, maybe a game and a half. Behind the, the Portland Trailblazers, so their their season is still alive. Yeah, their, their season is still alive. Dude, it, it is not hard to make it at the very least to the tenth spot. Like I thought, what the NBA did to allow you know the whole playing thing a good chance for you know teams who didn't have an opportunity to add like basically what the Grizzlies did last year, what, what the Grizzlies did last year. And Zion, he, he, you you have an opportunity to make the playoffs, even despite the fact that you're in the 12th spot. They're in the 12th seed, and they still have a chance to make it to the playoffs because the Portland Trailblazers is 25 and 34. You guys are 23 and 36. 36. You all, you, and you that, all that, that, team, that team that team's tanking. That team is actively tanking. Exactly. Oh, dude, perfect. You couldn't have said I couldn't have said that any better myself. Any better? Uh, hey, before before we continue, um, shout out to Nintendo Gamer. How you doing, bro? Oh, Nintendo Gamer, you're here. Oh man, you 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 missed a really um good debate regarding to the Street Fighter uh six uh, topic. Oh, you missed it, man. <laughs> um, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're in, they're they're twenty three and thirty six. They still have a chance to make the playoffs, and you want to act like r- run a muck. Right now, like we 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 just reached um you know the all star game the all star game just finished. There's another half a season to play. You still have time. You still have time and and the opportunity you know to make the playoffs right now and and make a decent run. Now I still think you're going to be eliminated in the playoffs, you know. But at the very least, you you guys still have a shot. As long as you in the playoffs, you have a shot. And who knows? I think they're going to lose if they make it to the play-in. But at the end of the day, though, they they were not able to make any type of uh, they don't have any type of video footage, uh, uh, um, you know, of you playing. Like, it's going to be hard for for your teammates to adjust, you know, when if you decide to come in. But this is still in your favor to at least make a run. Like, like think 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 about the fans, think about your teammates, think about yourself. If you are going to constantly, you know, um, 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 isolate yourself from the teammates when you just got into the league, uh, I'm sorry, but no, nobody is going to respect that. And I, and I, and I'm pretty sure that this is probably, and I, this is probably going to cost them money. Cause, cause when, when is, when, how, how long is a, um, a, a, a rookie contract? Do you, do you know? Uh, I think he's eligible for an extension this year. I think oh, he's eligible, year. and and yeah, and I don't think I, I don't think he's gonna sign. I don't think he's gonna sign. I you think know. what I think what they're gonna do, and let me let me before I before I go, let me mention this real quick. Um, Malta asked, "Will the Pelicans make the playoffs?" Um, they have a shot. Like they if, do. They have a shot. Like if they get get into the playing game, then there's always a there's always a shot. There's always a chance. And then Nintendo Gamer asked. Um, I think he asked. Was it something I, I would like when it comes to the Street Fighter logo? It's just me and him arguing. That's then that's I mean, if if you like us arguing, then yeah, then probably you'll like that. Um, you'll like that. Okay, first off, it wasn't just you know me and you arguing. We we started arguing once I started once I showed the the um the double dragon. That's when we really started arguing. That's when we really started arguing. Plus, you wanted to, you, but anyway, I don't want to go back to that right now. All right, but uh, okay. Anyway, like, look, I don't think he's gonna sign the extension. Um, I think he, I think he wants out. I think he wants out of New Orleans. I think he wants out. And I, if I'm New Orleans, I'm not giving him what he wants. All right. This, 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 yeah. Go ahead. This, this is um, I'm going, I'm going to show this um, you know, real quick because mm-hmm. Malta asked the question, and I don't want to. I don't want to just look on my phone. I actually want everybody to see it. I'm pretty sure you know what, what's going on. 
Um, now, clearly, obviously, you know, your Heat is still doing very good. You know, congratulations, mm-hmm. you know, the Heat. And I'm actually very, very impressed. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about the Bulls. Dude, the Rosen, he he really shut me up uh, finally. Because because remember when I said that he got it, Kawhi Leonard exposed him? Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember when, when Kawhi, you know, won a championship. But, yeah, DeMar Rosen, that, that dude did a very good job. You know, he improved a lot. Took him a long time. But he improved a lot. But, let, but let, let, let's go back to the original topic. Just want to give a quick shout out to them, to them too, especially Miami. Look, 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 look where the Pelicans are. You know, you may think anybody would probably say, "Well, oh, there are no way that there's there's no way that they'll be making the playoffs." They're twenty three and thirty six. The Trailblazers are twenty five and thirty four. They could still make it. Like they're, they're this this is this is not the Rockets or you know the, the you know the Thunder. Or even the Kings, they're, they're just a couple of games behind. And you saw, in look, there's a chance that Lakers might not make it. There's a chance that the Blazers might not make it. And you and you're tied with San Antonio. You have the exact same record with 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 um, San Antonio. You're not behind at all. And we're only halfway of the season. Why are you deciding to act like this now, knowing that there's still a chance for you to make the playoffs? No, it it, 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 it. Based on what JJ Reddick said, this has been going on since he since he got drafted. This has been going on since he got drafted. But, but even even if that's the even if that's the case though, even the, even if that is one hundred percent the case, you should you you sh- you can't be this dumb. You have not been playing at all, and yet you are still able. Your team is still able to make the playoffs. Why aren't you trying to you know get healthy, do whatever it is that you have to do to get in, and be like, oh shoot. We still have a chance to make this. God, it, it, it's common sense. You cannot sit here and tell me that he's not looking at the standings. He doesn't care. It, to me, it seems like he don't care. Like it just seemed, it just seemed, it just seemed to me that he just he want he wants to go to he wants to go to a bigger market. Okay, but like 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 that's not that's not that's not how it works. I, I agree. Grateful. Be grateful that the team drafted you. You're going to get paid millions and millions upon millions of dollars, regardless of where you go. And you you showed that you know you could be you know a star in this league, you know, by the little time that you have played. I just I don't understand. I just don't understand the mindset that any player would have, where he just decides, you know what, I I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do things my way. You've done yeah. nothing in the league. What like you've done nothing in the league. You're just a you're just a name. That's it. Right, you're just a name. And, and let me let me let me also say this one. Look, look I mean, look at this results. You have they, they lost they lost two games in a row. It says right here. Mm-hmm. Two, they lost they lost two games in a row, which means that if they had won two games, regardless of who they faced, they would have been twenty five and thirty six, pretty much. So they would have been ahead of you know the Spurs. So they would have been an. Eleven spot, and um, well, this still would have been an eleven spot. But w- once again, this proves that the Pelicans are still trying, even without you. Without you, they're they're, they're, they're trying, and, and they still have a chance to make the playoffs. And right now, you're sitting here, you know, pouting. You know, you're getting fat. You get you eating. You eat, all you're doing is eating chocolate chip cookies all day, and you're not putting any type of effort of trying to get better. You're not putting any type of effort of reaching out to your teammates. You're not traveling with, with you know, with the teammates. Like, what, what are you doing, man? Like, this, this is this goes back to the original first topic that he had that, that we had when we was talking about Street Fighter Six. Right now, he is displaying laziness and lack of leadership. That's what he's displaying, and I hate seeing this stuff on TV because it's on display. It's on display. I'm sick and tired of people. Wasting their talent, jeopardizing their future, oh, because they don't they, they don't have what they want. They feel like they're entitled to something, despite the fact that they haven't even earned it yet. You have been injured for all these seasons. You 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 were injured even in college. Granted, gra- granted, it, it wasn't your fault when when you know the shoe, you know, just suddenly collapsed. Yeah, you know, you were a big dude and, and all that. And I don't know if you knew this, having enough, but once that incident had happened, Nike stock actually went down. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, okay, yeah. When Nike stock went down, 
that clearly showed how your name, Zion Whit Williamson, is a big deal, a huge deal. People and I think know that, and, I think, and honestly, I think that's part of the problem now. Well, what think that his name that he's a that he's a big deal because it, because if he because look at John Morant worked his way up from being really a, a nobody going to a, a to going to a, a little school in Murray State. He, he he improved time and time again. He got I think he got them to the um he I think he, he definitely I think he bought Murray State you know deep into I don't know if it's deep into the NCAA tournament but he got them to the NCAA tournament mm-hmm. and he worked his way up to be the number number two draft pick in the league and look at what he's doing now. He's helping remember, he's in the, like, like you said a small school. Mm-hmm. Went to a yeah. small school, like Zion went to a big like first off, he was his games were being covered in high school. For yeah. one, he went to Duke and now he's he's acting like he can do whatever the hell he wants in New Orleans. While John Morant worked his way up to becoming a name in college. And now you look at what he's done the, the the first three years of his of his of his career, and now he's got the he got his team. They're now the third seed in the Western Conference. Yes. That's why you hear, that's why you hear me, you know, constantly giving that guy so much praise. I mean, look, look what he has done. Look, and, and there's and look, no reason. Oh, right, let me say this, and then you can go. Mm-hmm. And there's no, and obviously injuries barring barring any injury, there's no reason why your projection should be up there and close to the J- J- job Morant. Job Morant. There's no way that you can tell me with a straight face that if you were if you were healthy and I'm doing that in quotation marks if you are healthy mm-hmm. you should you the, the Pelicans should be up there with the with the Grizzlies yes it should be up there if you were if you were if you were quote healthy and with the team yes go, go ahead go ahead um let me see if I remember what I was going to say um actually <laughs> I think no, I my, just my, 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 my bad my bad but it just <laughs> To me, it's just like when you have when you have not nah, like back to my original point when you have people like JJ Reddick coming out and h- here and saying that stuff about you, and you know, you know, you have a guy who who's a top fifty player in the league, and CJ McCollum coming to your team and you and he and you had to be shamed into talking to him. Come on, man, that's a pattern of that's a pattern of behavior that that uh, that's something that I can't get with. Oh, now I remember. I remember what, what I was yeah. going to say. Like, like, I, like I said before, this represents laziness. And in turn, it also results in disappointment and, you know, and disgust. Look at the difference between what, what you've seen, you know, with um with, with the Pumpkins and with the Grizzlies, who's in the third seed, like you said. Zion, Zion Williamson, and when you compare his season and, and to John Moran. And he's in an in equally small market in, in, in Memphis. Oh yeah, absolutely. Equal small, market, small market, market, just just that same. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Um. Hold on. Um. Can you hear can me? You, hello. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh okay. Um. Okay. Okay. I guess, I guess my internet connection. Yeah, I guess my internet connection is going crazy again. All right. Um, let's, let's, let's I, was, I do have to go to work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah, I forgot. Dude, I, I got so into it that I completely forgot. All right, let me just say this one last thing. Mm-hmm. I wanted to say you see the comparison when with um when you compare well, uh, John uh, what, 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 can't, what can't you believe? Let me know that real quick, all right? No, go ahead, Steve. Continue. Yeah, most of yeah. What, what you can't believe? Like, I, I want to know what you – maybe you're talking about DeRozan, but maybe, maybe – I'm, I'm not sure. Because I, I did mention um DeRozan – um just a few moments ago but i want i want you to look at the comparison with what's going on with zion wilson and what john moran is doing when i said that zion wilson is displaying laziness and lack of you know leadership and you're showing you seeing the genre, like that is something that could impress anybody like you're you, you want to give the guy credit you want to you know, you want the guy to get better. Like it, 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 it energizes the fans. It's good for TV. It makes him box office. It makes it makes the Grizzlies matter just because of that one individual. You know what I'm saying? But then when you look at Zion Wilson, who is just playing, you know, that he wants to get fat. Like you could see how 
it just becomes distasteful for the organization and for you as a fan because we love basketball. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you understand what I mean. No, I know like, you. Just, and, and and furthermore, I I feel bad for the New Orleans fans because they they just got finished off with Anthony Davis basically kicking them in the ass, you know, yes. on his way out. And then they get they get this new they get this new guy who been who been the talk of the of the basketball world for for years before he got into the league. And now after what one like you have like what like like 70 percent of one year of one NBA season he wants he wants out. Like that, that, that to me that's garbage. That's complete garbage to me. Yeah, it, it, it's it all it all it shows. Like I said before, you putting on public display that you don't care. You putting on public display that you will lie about, and you putting on public display that you are an awful leader and an awful teammate. That's that's what you're showing on TV. While while while, but on the other hand, we are seeing somebody like Jean Morant who completely outshined you. You were supposed to be the best player in in, in the league at some point. You were the one that was supposed to be the face in the league and supposed to take over. Now you being outshined as so, at, to, to somebody who was drafted second. You were the one that was number one. You were, and now you have Jean Morant, who I'm, I'm, dude, I, I am so proud of Jean Morant. That dude is taking this team who they were in the play-in. Now they're into, now they're right now in the third seed. Yeah. Incredible. And, and look, look, that team, that team's good. Like when, when he was hurt, they were, they were playing well without him. But you yeah, see, right. you see how good they are with him. Yes. You see how good they are with him, and you see how great he is. And you can, and look. Like, I I don't I don't understand I don't understand why I don't understand how how you can you can't provide your team with the same thing and because oh why because you oh why because you um why because you um you you got drafted by New Orleans and not New York like fuck out of here man got uh, 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 um, um, Malta you know what's funny when you said that Jean Morant is better than Zion me and having I had this debate not too long ago yeah yeah look look. And and the thing is that I do believe in his talent, but what I but what but him being a bad teammate, I would never support anyone who's a bad teammate. Mm-hmm. And to me, when when you when you you know when the things that happen to you is what you know JJ Redick is saying about you, and what and what CJ McCollum said, that's a sign of a bad teammate, and I will never support that. Yeah, I will never support that either. I'll never support never that. Never ever support that. And and my, 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 my last thing I want to say, from what we have been witnessing now, because remember, having a, I remember you mentioned how he was some, not, I don't know if you said, I don't know if you used the term dominant, but you said something around those lines where when he was playing, that he was like electrifying, that he was going to be, you know, he was going to display much more greatness if he was healthy. Mm-hmm. Clearly right now, we are being robbed. From Zion Williamson right now, we're being robbed. He's rob he's robbing us from witnessing you know, greatness right now. Now, now, granted, we we have other guys, you know, like Giannis and you know, you know, Steph Curry, LeBron James. Look, I'm I'm really happy that we're still able to witness you know, greatness from these other guys. But yet, but but at the end of the day, though, we're supposed to be seeing all these youngings, you know, starting, you know, to take over. It's similar similar to what's going. Hello? Yeah, I think his internet is uh bad again. I don't know if he went out or not. Um Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. I can hear you. Uh, let, oh, yo, let's God, finish let's finish oh, yeah, God. let's can finish this up. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, I can hear you. Hold on. Yo, Steve, you can hear me? I think it, I think it ended up going wonky. I uh, you know like I said we got we do have to end this soon because I do have to go to work. I don't know if um I don't know if he's gonna come back or not. Yeah, I think he went out. Um. Oh wait wait wait. Okay. Um. Okay, you can hear me? Yeah. Okay. All right. L- listen. 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 To this because I do have to go to work. All right. Yeah. L- yeah. I, I I was I was just going to say. Mm-hmm. What we what we witnessed with um, you know, like in in the NFL, how we saw greatness, you know, with with Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, you know, Ben Roethlisberger to some degree, you know, Drew Brees, et cetera, et cetera, 
And now we're seeing all these new guys who are essentially going to, you know, starting to take over. Now, granted, we still have guys like, you know, Russell Wilson and, and Aaron Rodgers and et cetera, right? But yet you see how we're starting to see these young quarterbacks, you know, starting to take over, these new wide receivers starting to take over. That's what we want to see also, um, you know, when it comes to the NBA. Yeah, we have all these great veterans, but yet we, we expect these young guys, you know, to start to take over. And what Giannis, not Giannis, what Zion is doing, he's robbing us from that. At least for right now, he is. And this and this is why it is such a huge disappointment for us to witness this guy who is actually displaying laziness. And it makes me sick to my stomach because this guy is an awesome talent. Awesome talent. But yet, what we're seeing is somebody who doesn't want to play. What we're seeing is somebody who wants to basically not get involved with his teammates. And, you know, that's just not good for TV. And it's not good for basketball. So I, I'm with you 100% on this. 100%. Yeah. I I don't I, I don't understand the type of mentality. Like, I mean, you've been in the league for a minute. You like I said, you haven't even played a full NBA season, and yet you're you you think that you can dictate your way out of New Orleans? Like it's uh it's it's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting behavior. It's not it's not something that I, I can stand for or support. Yes. But you know, at the end of the day, I mean it is what it is, man. So I mean, that's pretty much it for the podcast, man. Like I said, I got I do have to hurry and get and get to work. I'm not I'm not I'm not late yet, so you know it's fine. Okay, I, I, I do have to get out of here though. All right. Uh, my apologies for the, you know, in and out of my internet, which is going haywire today. I'm actually surprised that we went to three hours and we only had three I'm not topics. Surprised. I'm, not I'm surprised, surprised because we only had three topics. And, yeah, uh, and, and, and I can't believe it. But um, I, I did enjoy all three topics. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, I wish you had seen the beginning of um, Nintendo Gamer, but, you know, you could just watch it whenever I'm um, having a post this um, podcast. Um, I'm going to watch it later. I always watch, you know, our podcast um, the day after. But anyway, um, um, Hubi 186, this was definitely a pleasure. Um, this is the Traditionalist 101. Oh, wait. Malta, big shout out to you. Nintendo Gamer, big shout out to you. Mm-hmm. Um, Kidvid, big shout out to you. This is the Traditionalist 101 signing out. Have a good one. Hubi 186, I'm out. Peace.